All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Guild House stream. My name is Sly Coco, and with me, hi, Shark Droid. All right, we got some nice another local for you guys here tonight. Another Thursday night of wonderful Street Fighter. Um, yeah, very excited to get into this. Yeah, let's get into this. Let's see who we have up first. Uh, there is one screen that's not playing the matches. Yeah, but we can see on this other screen for sure. But yeah, it looks like oh, Luke and Ryan. I think that was the Luke and Ryan we were just playing up there. Oh really? Yeah, I don't. I don't recognize these two players. Do you know who these guys are? I do not know who they okay. are. It's all right. That's all right. We got a JP on the screen already. Uh, well, we have modern JP. Uh huh. Well, that'll be kind of interesting. That'll be the first modern JP I've seen at this local. Yeah. First it should, it should be I've ever seen actually. Yeah, I mean, it should be pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, JP being as dominant as he is, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how modern controls for JP will work out. Yeah, I'm interested to see. I'm actually yeah. I mean, it should be interesting for sure. Jet man, what's up, Dark Yoshi? Yeah, should be welcome, interesting. Welcome to the stream. And then, oh, we have a modern oh, battle. Oh, modern Ray versus. Oh no, he's going. Oh, to dynamic. He's dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> dynamic Ray. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, but yeah, but classic, the traditional, the traditional. You know it. He's a, he's a classic. A classic Ryu, a yeah. man of culture. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got modern JP versus classic Ryu coming up. Yeah, let's see. What are, what are the player names? I'm assuming one of them has to be Jetman. Yeah, one of them has to be Jetman. Oh, okay. so maybe it's a little bit of a butt check. 
Yeah. Oh, well, let me use it. Oh, <laughs> well, we <laughs> yeah, have a little bit of fun check, yeah. Custom one. I don't... Okay, default. Oh, uh, it hits with a dry brush. Uh, I wonder if he knows he's on mono. That's what I'm wondering, too. Uh, no, he has to. He has to have changed it. He has to know. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah, I don't think he does know. Maybe maybe be like a real one and let him back out. I, yeah, I think they have to, right? Ah, uh, see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, modern JP, I've never seen it. <laughs> and then go all the way down. Yeah, down. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, he is a modern JP. I, I guess so. Maybe, maybe, he, like, the yeah, maybe he, yeah, I guess so. And maybe he was never a uh, Ryu player. He was a Kimberly player all along. Hmm. All right, cool. All right, the mix-ups have started already. I'm confused already. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got mixed up. I got hit all types of ways. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the character select screen. <laughs> no, definitely. You all right, let's all get right. this started. For sure. What do you think about this matchup, though? Uh, I don't really know. I would assume I would assume it's probably a little bit in Kimberly's favor, right? She probably doesn't have... I mean, EX Teleport could probably get through a lot of what JP wants to do, right? And then also her run, her her drive, get her parry rush. Like, yeah, I would assume Kimberly has a lot of good ways to, like, get in. Absolutely. I mean, within the pressure itself, and then she has a good next game as well. Right, yeah. And then the only thing that really stops her is uh, OD Amnesia, right? But, like... Well, that's bait, about it. Yeah, right? you bait that out a couple times, you know. I mean, just as long as he's in the corner like this, I think he's limited on options as well. Right, and even as we were talking about that, like, the Kimberly already has him cornered. Well, it has kind of just been pressing forward the whole time. Absolutely. I mean, you can't play, you can't play scared in this game. No, for sure. For sure not. Absolutely. Ooh, oh, that's a good DI. Yep. He's out. You get, Ooh, nice. yeah, you get nah, the side switch, right? Oh, uh, we'll see. Is he on the same side? Oh, uh, I guess I yeah. have. Oh, push up okay. Close, right? I would have moved forward. That was just my prep. Oh, see. Yeah. Check the ankles real quick. Modern JP is such a shame. Yeah, I've, I've never seen that. Yeah, I, I'm struggling to find where the uh, maybe the benefits are, but I'm also not a JP player, so I'm not, not wanting to speak on it. Ooh, get hit oh, below. Good. Okay. Ooh, I'm assuming he was trying to do that little slash thing he does with the cane. Right, right. But we'll see. Oh, oh gets hit with the empty jump low. Yep. Oop. Are you push counter? Level three. Uh, we'll see. Not oh, mix. Overhead. Is oh, DP. Oh, DP. Overhead again. Yeah. Use that. Oh, back throw. Oh, no. No, you no just forward throw. In that situation, and I would have put, put a right? burnout. Yeah, 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 I would imagine. And he put himself in a burnout. Oh, yeah. Really good throw. Yeah, good throw. Yeah, not much he could have. I mean, I guess he could have leveled one. Oh, yeah, he's modern JP. Yeah. He should be level one those kind of... It's like two bonuses, isn't it? For yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think if you hold... If you hold the... There's like a, an assist button or whatever. Oh, the auto button. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I think jabbing... You could probably jab cancel into the level one, which would have stopped the DI, but it is what it is. Can't believe it's the first round. Okay. Had a slide open up the round. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and no. already cornered. This is dangerous territory. Yeah. Eight Three. seconds in. Oh, yeah. Oh, amnesia. Oh, oh, no punish, but it's okay. He still has him in the corner. That's a good win in the corner. Cool. Yeah, JP moving forward, trying to trying to keep his positioning, but Kimberly kind of just fighting her way straight to mid screen. Absolutely. Yeah, puts the can down to get herself some space. Yeah. Ooh, good punishment. Absolutely. And then gets up. I would um, at this range, I'll try to just keep him. Oh, never mind. Yeah, well, the yeah, teleport just gets in, but I guess you just jab her, right? Right. So I think just as long as you have a four framer, you just check the dash right. and the teleport. I think right. she, like JP should be fine. Yeah, he's like belligerently just teleporting just this way. <laughs> absolutely abusing that button. Yeah, or they move in general. Yeah, nice good catch on the run. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Good slide. Good take the corner again. I mean, he's in burn now, so that's there's not much. Oh, this should be the, be the round. Yeah. Level one. Probably doesn't even need it actually. No, nope, just needs the slide. Nice. All right. Cool. All right, game point for the Kimberly player. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't see the players' names or the. Uh, oh, go jump in for the JP player. Pushes him to the corner, walks in slowly. Right. Oh, good neutral yeah, jump. Good neutral jump to stop the slide. All right. Nice. He's gonna get good pressure from the level two. Yeah, nice. just slowly walking forward. Now mm -hmm. get to, gets the hit. Oh, good stuff by the JP player. Yeah. Good corner pressure. He's far enough. Oh, Jetman is Kimberly. Casey is Jetman. Oh, thank okay, you, thank you, sure. Dark Yoshi. <laughs> Oh, Jetman currently has KCM in the corner now. Level 3. Gets that back most of his meter. And he's going to waste a lot of his. Maybe oh, a bar, not even less than half a bar. One blocked hit. Oh, oh he ducked it. Check, though. 
Maybe maybe could have spent a little bit of that meter. Oh, but nice. it's okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. So he's starting he's starting to check the dashes forward now, or whatever Kimberly's ways to get forward now. He's really utilizing that jab now. I think he's finally he's yeah he's, he's picking it up. it up yeah yeah finally downloaded the data. The, the Kimberly classic. Absolutely. Back throw into the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Slide into DP. Very good. Oh, overhead. Good overhead yeah. That overhead's so quick. Yeah. It's hard to react oh, to. Yeah, gets hit with lows, gonna hit some highs. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Alright, yeah. So first game goes to Jetman. Jetman. Kimberly player. Very good. Yeah. Same like uh Mr. KCM was uh struggling to keep the Kimberly off of him. Mm. Uh, which I guess is like we were talking about, Kimberly has so many ways to get through a lot of what JP wants to do. Yeah, that's pretty valid. I mean, for me personally, I do struggle with the Kimberly matchup with my Ken as well. It, yeah. It's just hard to keep her off, for sure. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh, oh nice. appreciate it. All right, I will catch you later. Yeah, good luck. Good okay. luck down there. Hey, production. The, the One of the screens is just kind of blank. Oh, no, it's not off. It's just kind of like on the, the desktop. But uh, the one that normally has the whatever the stream is showing on, the one on the left. What's that, man? Have we met before? I'm Coco. I'm Bubble Yum. Bu bully Yum? Bubble Yum. Bubble Yum. Nice to meet you, Bubble. No, we cannot. It's just like the desktop background. I will take this off. Hold up. Oh, yeah. There right. we go. Yeah, we are crystal. Yeah, and both screens are showing the same thing now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no worries. Yep. Take your time. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good match. Did you Were you able to watch the first match? Uh, No, what was the matchup? It was a Kimberly versus a modern JP. What? Yeah, yeah, modern JP in the house. Um, but the the Kimberly, yeah, the Kimberly won two zero. Um, yeah, the JP. What, what what does modern JP even get? That's what, that's exactly what I was trying to figure out. I was gonna I was gonna say like I understand like modern modern Saint Eve, modern Marissa, even stuff like modern Cam. But like modern JP. Yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe he's a little bit newer to the game. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a really good uh, it's a really good way of breaking down the entry barrier in modern. So right for sure. You know who knows? Hey, whatever makes him comfortable. Oh, Shark Droid is on stage now. Ooh, okay. Well, I don't quite know who's playing. It's who? I know Shark Droid, a, a, a new Ken player, longtime Shoto. Yeah, longtime Shoto player, uh, longtime Sagat player in Street Fighter V. But now he switched over to Ken after Evo. He was inspired. I respect it. Wonder why you switched to Ken. Yeah, hmm. I wonder why too. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, one of the great mysteries of the world. Oh, why anybody would yeah, play? You Ken. know, you know, this, you know, we'll, we'll we'll never know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll never figure it out. Yeah. So let's see, Ken versus we don't question mark. Yeah, I don't know who this is. The big is. question mark. All right, you know what? Shot in the dark. He plays Lily. Yeah, you think so? He, he plays Lily. He gives off Lily vibes. Yeah, he Lily vibes. Okay, okay. He's the he's the he's the he's the, he's the, he's the the hidden boss okay. in boss like, <laughs> oh, Hibiki is like one of the like highest rank in Masters right now. He's like twenty one hundred something. Man, that's pretty. He's good. He's like third or fourth in the world that's on the rank good. wise. I'm like, Lily is Lily is terrifying. Yeah. Modern Lily or regular Lily? Classic. Lily. I think it's yeah. I think it's just regular Lily. J Champ fifty nine. What's up? Trump Tuesday. Oh yeah yeah. What's up man? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, good to see you in the chat. Oh, nice, nice. You're big chilling. Yeah, we're just chilling now, waiting for our next match to start. I don't know where Shark Droid went, but... Oh, because there's a, um, I think there's actual... There's like a crosshair on the screen, I think. We got a wonderful T.O. to come uh, fix it for us. Saul is my goat. Thank you for, for Thank running, you. running running the show, Saul. Oh, yeah, like always, yeah. Shout out to Saul, Warren, Javi, and everyone. Everyone and company. Guildhouse yeah. just... Guildhouse. Yep. Yeah, guild, shout out to all the Guildhouse production. Yes, sir! Oh, it looks like he's having troubles with the stick. Oh, no. These newfangled converters. 
everyone's buying their their brook wingmans and such. Yeah, yeah. I, I I ended up using the newer snack box micro, so like my port ended up being okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's a is that a Victrix? It is. Yeah, okay, that's a Victrix. Yeah, so my point port's okay for okay. the most part. Just hoping it doesn't end up burning at the end. So so that's like just regularly compatible. You don't yeah. need to convert it. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. yeah, yeah. I work with PS4 and I work with PS5 pretty nicely. So nice. So nice. thanks. Who do you play? I play Blanca. You play Blanca. I am problematic. Yeah, you sound like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. watch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who comes? When does Aki come out? It's like a week from now. Ooh, no, Aki, yeah, the twenty. No, it might be. No, it is a week from now. Yeah, it's like the twenty. What's it? The fourteenth already? I thought it was like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, she comes out. You know what? Fact check. When is she out? 27. 27. Okay, yeah. so not chat. next week. Yeah, chat just told us. So, so a couple more weeks. A couple more weeks, but yeah. not too far. Yeah, it's going to be in the blink of an eye. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. She already looks way cooler than Fang, which is... Yeah. It's just, <laughs> well, I don't know. The bar's kind of low there, but <laughs> yeah. but she she looks genuinely yeah. very, very awesome. On uh, one of her trailers, even like her victory pose where she like throws up the bubble and then she makes it rain. rain? That's I think that's a yeah. reference, right? I don't know. That's I don't know. Reference. I don't know if it is, but like it's pretty sick. I know that bro, someone out there knows. Pro some someone is gonna see that. And I, like, I remember someone was tweeting that that was a reference. Right. And yeah, it was well, raw. And well, if someone recognizes it, you know what? I'll, I'll give it to them. Yeah, I'm sure High Fight will post it on his Twitter. Oh, High Fight. Yeah. What's up, the coach? What's up, y'all? Oh. What's oh. going on, guys? Good to see everybody in the chat. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Cool, okay. cool, cool. All right. We're just, I guess we're just waiting. We are waiting. We did a little bit of a quick restart. All right. Yeah. They're restarting the PS5s. I don't know what's going on. So we'll be back next week. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Oh, 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 somebody's oh. controller turned on. Oh, I see. Man. I see. Disconnect your wireless controller. I'm not going to say I was playing a wireless controller player on for casuals before we started. That's okay. You can, no, sni you I can don't, snitch. You I can don't want to point any fingers. That's my boy, though, so I don't want to I don't want to point no fingers. I, I don't know. I'll put him in jail if you want. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, that's my boy. Um, but I do see him playing in the back of this, of this camera view, so yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I, uh, but, all right, moment of truth. Who are you playing? Would you say you say you think he was a Lily player? Yeah, Lily, Lily. Okay, okay. Oh, now, now he's having trouble. Oh, no. Uh, please, free us. I know, honestly. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Man, wish we were... See, this is why we gotta run these games on PC. Yeah. PC has none of these issues. We have a couple PCs here, yeah, at Guildhouse. Yeah, we use them for the the launch event. Mm. We use that in conjunction with the PS5. But... Right. I think I mean PS5s are a lot easier to set up in. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's more for for people that are familiar with like how to set up. And PS5 is pretty intuitive. PC is kind of like its own thing. But right. I am I am I, I do favor PC. I'm sure it's also just a lot cheaper to buy a bunch of PS5s than PCs to have for setups. Probably, yeah. I was just thinking, like, how much would you need to have something that matches the power of a PS5 on PC? Right. All right. It's like, it looks like he has a bunch of extra buttons on his stick. So I, think, so I think there's a ruling on that. So Daigo, I think, has a... has a, I think his box now has, like... A lot of extra buttons. Yeah, you can only. I think you have like only like eleven or twelve. I, I, I more. think it's eleven. Yeah, yeah, eleven more buttons uh, besides movement. So you can only like besides the eight default ones, you can right. only have three more, which makes sense. Well, I, well, I guess twenty-four default. Oh, well, I guess yeah, yeah. See Starcraft two stream in the back left. Oh yeah, but that's just like a stream. Yeah, I don't get nobody here is actually playing oh, it. Oh, they're playing football. All right, but you know what? Let's yeah, commentate that game. <laughs> all right, I don't know who's playing. I can't see either. <laughs> I just okay. Someone got bodied. That's all I know. <laughs> someone got tackled. Someone yeah. got other ass. Is it when you play when you come from PC to play in the PS5? Is it that big of a delay? Oh, is, is it noticeable when you yes. guys come here? Yes, mm. yes. It's, it, it feels okay. Not awful, but it feels like icky. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, 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 it's just enough where it's a bit annoying, and you kind of have to like. I don't think it's a deal breaker. I think it's just we the people will probably be a lot more vocal about it because it's you know, yeah. tournament and whatnot. But yeah. but it, it it is it is it is notable, but it's not disruptive. It's sure. just something you have to. It's just like a it's like a bad. It's like a slightly 
It's like an itch you can scratch. You still have the itch, but you can do it. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm a PS5 player myself. No. But one day I'll get a PC. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Ken versus Ken. Who can escape this button? All right. Battle of the Kens. My boy Shark Droid. And I don't know the other player's name yet. We will find out soon enough. I guess could have looked at the brackets. Yeah. Squeaky cheeks. Squeaky cheeks. I love that. I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We're gonna get game one here of. I this is winners round two. Yep. Winners round yeah, two. Winners round two. Nice. All right. Doken fest to start it off. Yep. Fireball war. Nice. Good running. Which one's which? Shark droid is the purple one. He should be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we see her off the bat here. Squeaky oh, cheeks. Oh, oh. Somehow dodges the uh, di. All calculated. Oh, nice, good stun. Kind of, kind of does a little bit early into the, uh, to him being a burnout. But it still keeps the corner, so I think it's okay. Ooh, good check with the fireball. A bit later there on the DP. I saw the vision. Nice, good jabs. Nice, good pressure on the corner. Yep. Throw loops. loops. You gonna go for another one, buddy? Oh, Ooh. I would, yeah. He waited. Yeah. Better kill him for it, though. And he will. There you go. EX Gen Rai into uppercut to end it all. You better not drop that. You 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 baited the hell out of him. Jump in, no, no sure you can turn. I think he's hoping I don't know if he's waiting like he's trying to do a lane, he's hoping for the cross cut Ooh, there. Nice. Ooh. Good reaction to the DI. Yeah. He can get corner yeah, he can't get corner switch. He just can't win what I'm talking about. Oh he doesn't go for it though. He just goes for the uh, mid screen into the back throw. I respect it. I like the I, I like the idea. He punishes the attempt at the perfect carry there. Yeah, and gets himself just a little bit of space while well, he's still backing him to the corner. Yeah, nice. yep. you know, very, very simple fundamental play. Yes. That should be it. That should be enough. Oh, oh no. Pops. You hate to see it. I feel like there's just. Okay, yeah. Okay, good throw. Alright. Alright. Saves the level three for the next round. Fireball to start it off. <laughs> nope, but jump in. <laughs> oh, oh, but he gets underneath him. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think if he was ready, he actually could have probably had something. Uh, had a spot it. there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he could. Oh, he could have whip punished that. But that's okay. He gets the throw anyways. Oh, good low to the yeah. counter hit. Let's see how he's gonna get out of the corner. That's one. Pussy roll. <laughs> Oh, uh, he, he tried to third. Parry. Three for three. Yeah. Back nice. to back to back. Shark Droid looking at himself on the big screen. Hey, if he's, if he, you know, if, he, if, he's not, if he's not doing anything else, you know, you, you <laughs> might as well go for it. You see, even the pros get thrown like what? Like three or four times in a row? It, yeah. It's it's not impossible. You know, it, just, it just depends on like how, what you're conditioned to and what they expect. Right. Yeah, Shark Droid really conditioning with the throws. Tries to go for the overhead, but he gets thrown for it. Throw Fighter 6. Oh, now that was the last game. This is this is this is a new game. You yeah, know, you know, even though we have throw loops, it's clearly a different game. Oh, oh nice, good parries into the DP. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Shark Jory look was looking a little bit low here on the drive gauge, so yeah, maybe he'll he, get some back over. Yeah. Time. Oh, he, he just spends it all. Yeah. Oh, any uppercuts? I wonder if he's trying to. I wonder if he's trying to fireball with some of those uppercuts. All right, gets hit with the DI. Yeah, not quick enough to level one it. These punishes need to be a little bit more on point. Yeah. Especially if you want to make it farther in the bracket. I think maybe from both players, too. Could be nerves. Could yeah, be execution news. So. Yeah, play, it's playing on the stage. You know. We all, we all. Oh, yeah, the street pressure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, crucial skill here, I was, I'm, I'm noticing off the bat. Is, you know, neutral jump is like really popular when it's people playing online or, you know, here at a local. Yeah. So no. you, gotta, you gotta have proper responses to that. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, fierce buttons is true. That Ooh. gimme. For such a good fierce button that uh, Ken has. That's pretty cool. Alright. Shark droid on, uh, on match point. Mm, I like that for Spooky Chase, just immediately stealing back his turn with the ODDP. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 for them running at I each like other. Yo, right I for an eye. Arms. Yeah. To the level three. That's right. Good damage early in the round three. And Shark Joy is now on one at Drive Gage. Ooh, and he gets hit with one more. He's going to get DI'd. No, he's not. 
Oh, gets the oh, laser. Dead. Yeah. Oh, with the P. Okay. Dang. I start to just have to shake it off. Shake it off. Take a sip of the brew. Go back to character select. Character switch, or the, I, I think he's gonna stay. Or, or, or it's just you know just kind of resetting here. Yeah, he's a long time Ryu player, but I, I think he's gonna stick. I think he's just catching his breath. Yeah, sometimes you need him. Squeaky moment. cheeks is feeling him, so he has a little smirk on him. <laughs> I love that. It's like, oh man, I'm so ready to win this. <laughs> yeah. Nice start for taking some deep breath. I love it. You know, I, I'm really curious to see how the dynamic of like the matchup changes when you're facing two characters that are just kind of perceived as hyper aggro but it's like what happens when you have two unstoppable forces like meeting each other we gotta get like two lpns in here lpn to club yeah two L lpn yeah. and lpn two <laughs> yeah exactly Wait, which long is longer <laughs> that's a good one bars oh that could have whiffed up yeah he could have that dragon yeah. lash yeah instead he gets dp into the corner oh it puts him up in a burnout but i think it's okay he has a pretty good hefty life lead to start it off, and he has a momentum. Yeah, yeah. I think it's 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 a really inter inter interesting conversation to have. It's like sometimes you know not. We, Bam that, yeah. talks about this a lot. Not all burnouts are built equal, and you know as you can see there, he was using his drive gauge to really push his advantage, keep him in the corner, and gain such a big life lead that you know yeah. even if he takes all that damage, he's gonna get you know most of his drive gauge. Back. Yeah, being a burnout didn't really seem to matter. He was still he was still applying his uh, his offense. Yeah, he's still running it. Yeah, it looks like yeah, Squeaky Cheeks is just getting aggressive now. Yeah. All of them are looking pretty low here, though, on Drive Cage. Who will get burned out? Oh, good DP. That's a bit of. Ooh, nice. In the last moment DP, I like it. Oh, the jump. Oh, nice. Okay. Very low on Drive Cage. Oh, he thought he could put him in a burnout. Or oh, I don't know what he's no Punish. He, he think maybe he's trying to go through a fireball. Nice good DP. All right, Shark Joy playing the the typical Shoto gameplay. You know the, the classic rule being is like if you see the fireball and you jump over it, you are going to get anti here. You, yeah. You know, in, the, in those classic in that classic scenario, you got to preemptively jump, make the read. Right. All right, Shark, yeah, Shark Joy able to survive the burnout. He has a hefty life lead too, so not too big of a deal. I, I like the idea from both parts, and I think it benefits a lot more Shark for Dark Troy to Ooh, we'll put him in the corner play though. more with fireballs. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's really good at it. Ooh, but Squeaky Cheeks making nice, really good, good EXTP. I was gonna say Squeaky Cheeks making really good use of that back throw to put him in the corner, but yeah, Shark Troy fought his way out. He put himself in the burnout. He's burnout twice this round. But you know, one one straight hit. Yeah. Jab. Oh no. Uppercut. Oh, nice. He was waiting for that nice. one. Yeah. Yeah, Shark Troy played that one really patient, was able to keep Squeaky Cheeks off of him. And uh, was able to secure the round because of it. Yeah, it was like really simple stuff. He's utilizing his health lead, recognizing that Squeaky Cheeks has to make bigger risks here. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah, and his DPs are now like on point now. Squeaky Cheeks is finding, really struggling to find ways to open up here. Oh, he blocked it. Yes. Ooh, he should they be. should be level three. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh, no. Bro, nice, good jump out. There is so much spaghetti on the floor. Yes, there is. Quite a bit. Bro, pick it up. Level three, please. Oh, I that's, like that. Yep. Yeah, he's going to yeah, get the corner pressure. I think it's definitely nerves. Yeah, for sure. Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Good cross cut DP. Shark Droid uh, takes the game. Nice. Good stuff. All right, good stuff, Shark Droid. Cool. All right, very interesting, Ken. It kind of seemed like, yeah, whoever picked up the momentum early in the match just kind of rolled rolled with it. Got a fly in my face. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty cool Ken match. Oh, and I'm playing Ooh, my match. Sly. Cool. All right, Bubble right. Yum, it's been a pleasure. I might Good come back up here. And, uh, all right, see you guys in chat. All right, chat. It's the one and only. It's me. <laughs> I'm back here holding it down, waiting for Bam. He's uh he's doing good work out there. He's helping helping y'all with these brilliant events and more. But it's okay. You have me. Nothing to fear. Uh, I hope the chat is doing well tonight. And I hope y'all have been on the grind. Let's see. Do we have any idea who's next on stream? Uh, I could take a look, look at the queue. If there was one. Mayhaps.
Oh, he's there on stream. Oh, okay. All right. Slivers Clem. Thank you, Dark Yoshi. Mm. So I think Sly plays. I think he plays Manon. Clem, I'm not familiar. That's that's a that's a new name for me. If someone could, if someone knows and could tell me, that would be that would be great. Otherwise, I'll have to wait until the character select screen. Leave me in the dark for now, won't you? Let's see. Oh, maybe I'll get a peek. Looking at your screen. Showing you one on one. -on -one. He's just going through controls. Wait, what? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, a, a little birdie just told me that this is a Canadian Blanca, which is uh, that's surprising. I wonder if he's here on business or pleasure or everything in between but also Blanca that's my character Ooh. also rightfully scary one we have so many good ones just across the board Van Al, Nisha King Wolf, Wolfgang and then you know Mena oh and there's also uh, I believe it was yeah Flash I think it was Flash Metro yeah Flash also really strong there's a lot of and, and, and you know sometimes when Beneath plays them when Apology Man decides to pull out the Blanca, he plays him as well. Oh my goodness, this fly. <laughs> Get him out of here, please. But yeah, let me see some business. Let me see some action. All right, Mr. Coco, you're back on back in you're back on the you're back on the the big stage. Yeah, chat. I want to know what's up. Y'all, are y'all coming out to Guildhouse soon? Y'all have any big events coming up soon? What rank are y'all? Are y'all climbing? Y'all taking a break? Y'all mad at JP, Ken, or whatever flavor of the month it is? Too damn. Hey man, I want to see every single phase out here. I do not think we have Samurai or uh, PR Rock tonight. I don't know if they're out for event. I'm actually not really sure if there's anything this weekend. Oh, yes. Yep, no Samurai, Rog, or LPN, but we still have Fulio. And we also have, um... We have Tree Wiz? We also have some visitors. I think we have a Super Yawn? She's a, she's a Honda player? Oh, yeah, Jeff's here. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Praise, praise be to the locals, indeed. Oh, you know, it's it's only here at locals where you get to see, well, all this good stuff happen. Offline events are the heart of it all. All right, game one here of Clint versus Sly Coco. Ooh, a really good reaction there from Sly Coco to catch the heavy ball. And the, you know, the, the infamous, the button of death, Air Blanca Ball. Ooh. Uh oh, so, so, okay, so, so far. So, like, we had a really strong lead. Oh, he might be dead here. Or it's maybe very close to. Yep, he's dead. Yep, he used just, just enough drive gauge to clear that out. Yeah, off the bat, it is terrifying to play against Blanca because of the prospect of both light and heavy ball. Heavy ball just immediately deleting one drive gauge every time you get hit by it. And light ball being pretty fast recovery-wise and you can get grabbed. You know, he can go for a crouching light kick. He has so many options. Yeah, right there, a grab hat coming out. 
That's hard, because if you want to react to Heavy Ball, or you want to check Light Ball, he also has a plethora of other options for mobility, whether it's like his Hop or his Rainbow Ball. So that's it. So the scenario is whenever you get to throw, I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong later, but off my own impressions and I, you know, from laughing it out a bit. Whenever Blanca gets a throw, just a normal throw, he can go for heavy ball and you cannot jump out of it. You just have to lose the. You either have to lose the drive gauge or you dedicate, you know, whatever re reversal resources to, to get out of there. Yeah, you have to dedicate resources there to it. I know Sly, Sly taking a really early life lead, but he was looking pretty low on their drive gauge. Now you're in the corner. This is the scariest part of the game. But he's dropping the confirms there, unfortunately. I think he should have been able to kill there. Nope. That recovers way too slowly. You're not going to get anything off of that. Ooh, I really like that for Sly Coco. Just, you know, no fear. Trying to trying to steal that game back, but unfortunately, Plim keeps us cool and takes the game, to, takes the round. I'm really liking this punishes that you know Coco gets gets. Yeah, nope, you can't hit a button there. He is. It can be as plus as plus six. Ooh, this time. I'm surprised that he did not go for OD uh, Electric there and go for the level 2 install. It was a bit of a scary situation. Oh, no. Nope. That's not going to hit. And he's dead for it. Yeah, now he's uh, block, plus 6 on block. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you take that one block, you can be as plus as... Yeah, plus 6. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Right now, Sly has his five medals, so you know one grab is gonna do like three thousand damage, which is like the equivalent of more than a. It's a level. It's a level two. Right now, he's burnt out though, so he's gonna find a way. He has to find a way to climb back up here. Ooh, he's gonna get a sun. All right, let me see your combo. Oh, that was a good idea there. Yep, going for the side switch. Oh, you sh Ooh, so close. Oh, that's a punish. You should be dead here. Goodbye. Ooh, it's like Coco keeping it close. I like it. The scariest thing about Blanca is that his, his play with Blanca Doll in the corner is just beyond terrifying. There are so many things that you have to worry about, whether it's about getting grabbed, you know, you getting counter hit by light, light kick, it's electric, and then, you know, you have to eat that 50-50. By the way, let's do a little bit of uh, learning today. If it is not OD Air Blanca Ball, and he tries to hit you like that from the air directly, if he hits you low, it might be it might be safe, but if he hits you just, you know, on, on high, above the head, above the chest, you can get a good punish on him. Do not let him get away for that for free. He's dedicating a lot of meters to this, but it's going to get the kill. Yeah, ODDP does a lot of damage for finishing combos. It's really terrifying. All right, you're up to three medals now. Let's see if you can make the most of it. Yep. Good punish here. Get up to four. Let's see what you make of it. And the demon button comes out once more. Oh, he's really good. Oh, he's really gonna pull out the level three. I didn't think he needed to, but maybe he's that confident. He said, you know what? I don't need the super meter for the last 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 round. I got it. I got that thing on me. And you know, with uh four medals, it's certainly doable. But at the same time, it's Blanca with three meters, which means either you're going to take a third of your... Like, you're just going to lose a third of your health from one good combo, like here. Or you could have saved it for an install for a situation where you're putting it putting blocks done for like a million years. 
This is a tough spot. You have very little drive gauge. Now you're burnt out. All right, this is a do or die. Oh, he's gutsy. One more interaction. Oh, no punish the jump back out of fear. Oh, he's waiting to break. Oh, he's got his drive gauge back. Oh, he stole the turn. He stole his. That was so good. I really respect that from Klim. Yeah, right there was just. I think Coco would have been about plus three, plus four there, I think. With drive rush canceled, crouching medium punch. And you know, that's something that sometimes you have to you have to remember. Just because you're plus doesn't mean, you know, you're 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 safe. Doesn't mean it has to be your turn. Someone can easily steal it back with uh, with an ODDP like that. And then, like I mentioned before, Blanca's ODDP does damage. It is fat. A character will the character has so many ways to put the hurt on you for any situation. It, you know, and it's so hard to fight back against him once he's got a lead as well. But good, good stuff to both players. I, I really like you know keeping it's like keeping it keeping it close, and you know I like the gutsiness on the level three. You know, he almost had it. It was that last last hit situation. But you know, let's see how he does in the rest of the bracket. Oh boy, it's Jeff. Is Kimberly, but who's his opponent? Who could it be? All right, who's this? Ah, okay. I believe this is a Chun Li player. It could be. It should be. It might be. We will see. Ah, not this fly. Oh my goodness, get away from me. You're disgusting. Yeah, Jeff, you know, Jeff remaining one of NorCal's Titans, you know, among the others, LPN, PR Rog, Samurai, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Julio. So many strong players out here. I'm so part, proud to be part of NorCal. For Smash, for Strive, for Street Fighter. There's so many just you know, it's it's an, it's an amazing fighting game scene out here. So many good players. All right, here we go. Jeff versus, versus, gotta see it. I gotta know who's the mystery man. I'm just Joshin. You must be kidding. Nope, he is just Joshin. All right, game one. Both of these characters have respectively their own god buttons. But YJK is deciding to strike first. Keeping Josh here, stuck in the corner. Keeping himself safe. And the next time that happens, maybe Jeff will look for the gap. Oh, the one stop. Into the toss. The overhead. The low. Ooh, the DP to get out of there. It's not over yet. He's got a lot of... Yeah, he's got a lot of room. A lot of hill to climb. Fortunately, not able to make it this time, but it's only the first round. Oh, the side switch. Oh, the double side switch. Actually, you know what? That makes it a no side switch. That's how badly he got me. I thought he was on the left, but he was on the right, and I was wrong. He's dead. Jeff showing off why he's one of the best of the best. He keeps it simple. He keeps it clean, but he makes it hurt where it counts. Game one going to Jeff. My goodness. They're having a good time, though. That is all that matters. No, 
Say what you want about the, the rank points, the glory. If you're not having a good time, why does it matter? But you know, the glory is nice too. Well, you're going to take it a decent amount here. And you're kind of stuck. How are you going to get out? Yep. Jeff, another person who was okay with going into burnout, pushing your advantage as far as you can. He's dead here. Might be. Oh no, he doesn't get his perfect. Jeff, what are you doing? Please get it back in there. Oh no. Hmm. Josh has gone for that sequence a couple of times, and I already think there are gaps, and while it keeps him somewhat safe, there's nothing that Jeff really has to fear besides, you know, just waiting his turn out. Waiting for it to work waiting for it to be his turn again. Yep, I think he's close to death again. Alright. If this was Sage's will kill, well no, he's not dead. Not even close. Scaled pretty hard. Yep. Jeff keeping it simple, keeping it clean. He's laughing, having a good time. But Josh will be back. He's got the loser's bracket. And he's got a lot to learn from this match. I think it's the most important thing to remember, y'all. You have so much more to gain from losing than winning. You have so much information on where you want to get better, where you need to improve, what others are seeing, what, what weaknesses others are exploiting that you may not be recognizing. Take the time to review your VODs. Ask your friends. Ask a pro for help. You know, we're all in this together. We want to get better as players. It's not, you know, it's all about community. And don't forget what that C and FGC stands for. But yeah, good stuff to Jeff. Keeping it, keeping it, you know, as clean as one can be. Corner is a tough spot. You got you to be on point and know in the ways that you can get open up and the things that you need to keep an eye out for. Drive impact, throws, getting ready to perfect parry, getting ready to anti-air. You know someone doesn't have a safe jump set on you. Don't let them jump on you just like that. Wolf Wary, man, I could use a co-commentator right now. I need more homies here. I'm here, all alone. My lone self. I can't do this without a brother in arms. Nah, I can. I can hold it down. <laughs> Who is on stage next? I wish to see. A. Okam Okami versus Pei. That is what I am hearing. I do not know who these are either. I hope it is a good set. I want to see some weird characters. I want to see some different stuff. Show me, show me the Lilies. Show me the Zangiefs. Show me the Dalsons. I don't want I don't want Ken. I don't want Jury. I don't want JP. Even Giles would be nice. Just show me something different. Right, you know what I'm gonna guess. One of them, one of them plays, one of them plays Marissa, and then the other one plays. Mm, mm, you know what? One of them plays Jury. That is that is my wild guess. I genuinely have no clue who these two play. Okay, I could have not been more off the dot there. I am terrible at predicting this. That I, I'm being told, I'm being told that it is a Cammy and a Luke. I am, I am, I am, I am way off the dot. Chat is way off the dot. You guys need to step your game up. Champion, what they, I might be. Proud of what I see from the man in the mirror. A real freedom fighter got a problem. Another 
Cameron versus Lucas. Cammy versus Luke. Great Britain versus America. America. All right. Hey versus Ocom me. Beginning operation. Let me have some fun. Ooh, okay, immediately going in there. Want to make some? He wants to make a mess out of him. Slowly pushing him into the corner. But Kami is ready to get out of there with these neutral drive rushes. Oh, the excellent spin knuckle there to bypass the sand blast. Oh no! But the sides have been swapped. Well, Okami also does has no drive gauge. He's knowing not, not to over it extend. Oh, the empty, empty jump. The weight. Side shots once again. All right, you got him stunned. But can you do some good work here? All right. One throw. Another one. <gasps> He's dead. Ooh. All right. That stuffed him from pay. I was looking kind of scary there, but making the most of the fact that Okami was in burnout, and you know, at the you know closer at the last possible minute, gets the stun. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. So now you're side switch, but you also have no drive gauge. Let's see how long you can extend this pressure. Oh, Okami. You're dropping these. Both of these are just waiting for the drive gauge to come back. Let's see if Pei. Pei is, is Pei going to push it? Yep, he's pushing his advantage. He should be able to kill him here. There it is. Game one going to Pei pretty convincingly. Towards the end, I mean. Tommy seems to have, like, a, he's able to steal back the momentum for bits and pieces at times. But Pei is closing it out very confidently. His combos are on point. And he's just being very aware of the state of his and his opponent's drive gauge. I like the challenge there from Okami. He's out of there. Pull out that Monopoly, get out of jail free card. Ooh, not quite the wall splat. Oh, the, the frame kill into the meaty? Is this what it is? Oh. I wonder if he was trying to perfect carry something. Waiting for the, the, the little bit of time he has to punish. Wait until the end there and get, gets him. Yep, that's not the heavy, so you are not plus. Excellent anti there from Okami. Yeah, right now it seems like a lot of Okami's damage is coming coming off of uh, disrespecting Pei. Pei seems to be one that's opening up Okami a lot. Yeah, like again here, the level one super to try to get out of there. And he does it again. So he's burnt out, he's got no meter, but it's not impossible. Let's see if Pei can close this out. Kami's very careful not to overcommit to anything. Oh. Throw. Yep. No. The latter part hit him. And he waited. Ah. The critical art. Yeah, good wait there from Pei to finish it off with the critical art. After Okami had been resorting to playing out neutral with sandblasts. There are a lot of characters you gotta be careful of when you're throwing projectiles out. Gammy being one of them. Blanca, especially if he's got I talked about this before, but please do not get hit by this. This is this is this is this is an insider tip right now, okay? If you're fighting against Blanca and they have three bars and they decide, oh hey, I'm gonna go for you know my, my level two install. Just be aware that his, his Blanca's level one super becomes a full screen hit. Now you know. If you get hit, it's your fault. 
you can't blame it on me. You can't you can't call it a gimmick or cheese because you, you're in the chat. You're listening. You should have this knowledge now. You have no no excuses, no whining, no salt. You have the knowledge. You have the power. Use it. Dominate your rank grinds. Get to fifteen hundred MR, and then and then get body by everyone else up there because some of these people are absolute monsters. All right, I think this is Agent Triple F, I believe. Marissa and uh, yet another mystery man. There are so many players I don't know, but so many players I want to get to know. So much potential just brimming and brewing in this venue. Wait, it's Portix. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. All right, everyone, I'm a fan. It's Portix. Portix is a very strong uh, Smash Ultimate player. And he's been recently on the grind as well for Street Fighter Six. Yeah, I, I love it to see. I love to see when people from across games are coming out to these these events. I don't know why I didn't recognize him. I recognized him for a second there. Maybe it's from maybe it's the angle. I swear it's the angle. It's not. It's not just me. Yo, I'm digging Agent's shirt though. The soy sauce. Can't have the goza. Can't have your. Can't have your sushi without soy sauce. Marisa versus Cammy. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The armor? Good stuff, but Portis is already burned out here. Oh, he's got the overhead. You're going to be knocked down. Are you gonna get out of jail? I like the idea that from agent. Oh my gosh, the wake up super? You're gonna take a lot of damage for this. Pretty. They're both pretty low here on drive gauge. Oh, the oh the drive rush overhead. Yeah, he's getting he's he, he's been getting a, a lot of good hints off of that. You know, but Portix knows now, so you know maybe he's a little more aware. I like the idea. He thought he had conditioned Portix to you know stay locked down, so he's gonna go for the command grab. This time he does it. Not going for the overhead anymore. These two are kind of in a, a bit of a scrambly situation here. Agent burning himself out, so he has no way to deal with pressure. You know, there's no way. He has no get out of jail cards besides the supers now. All right. Forex choosing to burn the level three here. Getting back a bit of his own drive gauge. And just bringing the life leap into his favor. But one straight hit could lead us to his demise. Going for chip here. Oh. Oh. I got hit. I'm sorry. Oh, this time he's opting to go low. Ooh, I love that. Each person, you know, it's, it's really interesting to see each person's uses of drive gauge. Oh, sorry, drive impact. 
you know, some people, some people opt to go for, you know, your, your standard, oh, you know, after their wake up, hit, you know, hit that drive impact, get in the corner. Some people just might do it raw. I like the neutral jump there. He was ready for the Gladius. Oh, no, no anti here from Portix. Oh, and he gets the command grab. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that pause. I know what he was going for. I think he was trying to get out of there. It's like, yeah, go next. Go next. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Man, Agent, Agent Kid taking game one. He's getting a lot of damage right now off of the command grab. Got a pretty good life lead as well. Oh, he goes for it again. Now he's burnt out. Yeah, Portix wants a chance of winning this. He needs to keep his offense tight. And yeah, he needs to leave no gaps. Let's see that punish. Oh no, you're a dropper. It happens. Could be tournament nerves. Could be a mixture of things. Oh, the punish counter on it too. Level three. You're gonna also get her in burnout now. All right, chat. Will we see a wake up level three? Actually, no, you're not quite in burnout. I lied. Yep, wake up level three, there it is. But it don't matter. What? Come on! What else was he gonna do? What other choice did he have? He was—he was on the brink of death. What choice did this man have but to pull the trigger? He's getting run down, Marissa by Marissa. Character's terrifying. Yeah, both players. Very, very, very scrambly situation. I think you know. Definitely could have a lot been done on both sides in terms of offense and defense. A lot of times just too much just holding back and just blocking and blocking. I think that's why Agent got so much mileage off of uh his 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 the command grabs. And unfortunately, you know, Portix are dropping some combos and getting some stuff here and there, but Oh no. Danger, danger. Everyone, I gotta move. I gotta move. Uh, uh. Oh. Thank God. Oh my goodness. I'm here. Uh. Yeah. The dangers entered the building. The menace. What's up? The man of the hour. What is what's good, man? What's good? Yo, Marissa. Marissa. Yo. Nature's best, man. Miss ER herself. Bro, I felt goofy because I, I didn't know that was Portix. Yeah. From Ultimate. <laughs> the good timeline, man. People be out here. We got Ooh. Wolf in the building. I see Dark Yoshi in the building too. Damn Zam Zaddy. What up, man? What's good? What's good? A <laughs> nice anti-air. Would love to see it. It's a cool hat. Oh, absolutely, man. Shout out to Waveform, baby. Let's go Waveform. The, the goats, man. The legends. Yeah, man. Guys, you gotta show love. Yo, what up? What up? What, how you doing, man? Ha 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 ha. My man. What up, baby? Yo, so what's, what What has been going on in this tournament? Chaos. Chaos? It's everywhere. Chaos? It's everywhere. Yes. I need chaos. That, that's what I come here. I come here for chaos. That's what I need. If people what? aren't throwing hands, if we're not in the alleyways, if we're not robbing, you're not doing it right. Okay? That's Street Fighter Six, baby. Robbers only. That's what I need. You criminal know? activity is encouraged. It's free. Criminal activity. All day. To be honest, I'm about to get some merch, man. I'm going to have criminal criminal activity right there, man. Ooh. That's what I need. That's kind of fire. And then get a members-only jacket and do robbers only. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> All right, but who we have on stage? Any any ideas? Ooh. Oh, Cl okay. Clem's back. Oh, Ooh. my boy. See, I came right in time, young Jeffrey. All right. We got yes, Jeff sir. and Clem. This yes, is a sir. Canadian Blanca. I know. I know. Ooh. He's got, he's, got, he's got some sauce? He's got some sauce? A little bit. A little Just bit? a little bit. A little something? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. But maybe he's got more. Is it Chipotle habanero? Is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, is, is it a... 
Scotch bonnet pepper? I need to know what you know, kind of sauce he, he got. You know, you know, he I think he he's like, you know, he he's there. He's like jalapeno. It's like a little, you know, it's like you can recognize the flavor. It's not, it's not too much heat. Uh, okay. It's like a tad of kick. I I need the full blown. I need the full blown low forward drive cancel. That's what I need. I need that kind of kick in my sauce, man. So I need him to come correct. I need that. This is this is gonna be good, man. I, I'm excited. Yo, shout outs, man. YJK always holding it down for the Kims. I was talking about it. One NorCal Titans and one of you know one one of Kim's greatest representatives. Yo, NorCal's Titans, man. <laughs> shout outs to Mortal Kombat One, dude. <laughs> shout outs to the Titans, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, that came out today, bro. We love we love to see it. More 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 and more fighting games are coming out. Oh, by it, day. it is a hey, man. Rising tide raises all ships, baby. And then in a couple months we got. Rising as well. Uh huh. Absolutely. Here we go, man. Kimberly versus Blocker. We're going into game one here. Runners round three. YJK, you know, one of the staples out here at Guildhouse versus Clem making it happen. Man, of course. Oh, and we are in Burnout Nation already. Got to be a little bit careful there for the Bunker Balls. Uh, Kimberly is going to be one of the few characters, like, just with a run. And also, even just uh, going in and looking at, uh, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, punch counter, yes sir, teleport. Yep, get my man in the corner. What up? You jumping a little too much there? Get hit by that god, folk. Yeah, he was ready. He was ready for that neutral jump. He just waited for the landing to, you know, start the pressure. Ooh, overhead. Oh no. Okay. I'm about to say, I'm like, you better punish that target combo. Yep, crush. Absolutely going up. You're oh, dead. oh, that's it. Didn't even need the setup, just the OD to close it out. That's round one. Curtains. Yes, sir. Welcome to the show. Okay, we're gonna slide in those DMs and like it. Oh, run up on you. Dang, alleyway special. We are in the blender, absolutely. Mmm. Yo, that is a Chris Gamba juice smoothie. But there it is. See. But there it is. There was the off button for the blender. Uh, that Delponic uh, air Blanca ball. It's so ridiculous. Man, I've, I've seen people just sit in the lab for hours, man. They may never come back out, man. Just trying to find an answer to that Blanca ball. Ooh, the run, stop, grab. Mm -hmm. Good attempt there. Yeah, I was going to say, for most of the time, Jeff has not been letting him, Clem play around with uh, pressure here with yeah. Blanca. Oh, no, that does not work good, sir. Yeah. I, you know, it's your soul. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's sing a song. Hit me with the tools real quick. Uh huh. This looks good. Spray music. that, yeah, in a little bit. We're going. Are we doing overhead? Oh no! Nah, we just busted him. Get me, yeah. Yeah, he said, "Look at my art." Hey, my man, Jeff was not impressed. <laughs> he was not impressed at all. King, King of the jungle. Mm hmm. Who? Overhead. I love that man standing. Spirits going in the OD. Bring the overhead. All right, you jump. All right, we're not gonna complete that though. You still run off. Yeah, I'm loving Kimberly's, all right? That's a, the classic right now, showing that off. Um, that run is going to be safe there, and then a lot of times people will go for a neutral jump to deal with the grab or the kick, but in that kind of situation, on reaction, you can go ahead and go for that drive rush, right, into that elbow and get obscene damage to the character. Yeah, that that medium punch is actually pretty solid with dealing with long ball as well. You know, of course, you can do standing pierce too. Yeah, I love that she was ready to stuff the light mm -hmm. ball in. Oh, just do another one. Just do another oh, one. Bro. Okay, all right. Ah, of course. She forgot, and then she, you know, we forgot. Yeah. He has that. Huh? Okay. Ooh, that's very possible. He's talking about that. I wanted to see a slide, man. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, oh can go for it? Uh oh. Really? Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that. Dang. Yeah, that's crazy. That was that was that was gutsy. I yeah, respect he, it. He gave it an extra guess. Really said, nah. I don't need him to use my meter. Nope. We saving. Now we see Clem back in the corner. He's okay. jumping a lot here. He is. A lot of neutral jump. We might see a punish from YJK soon. Oh, man. The OD step through. Not going to work today. Overhead, of course. Yes, Tatsu. Oh, we got you now. It's your soul. Absolute. Huh? Turn that meter. Do you see that green, that good, that gushy stuff? Absolutely. Run up on him. Elbow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man. I love the confidence here from Jeff. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna use all my meter to close it out. I don't need. I, you, 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 you have critical. You have, you have three bars for next round. I, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. I just need. I just need. I just need my my tunes. Oh, oh yeah. And then I mean, you, when you're playing Kim, right? The, one of the characters where it's like it is 
if you're going for a comeback or anything, it's so good for her because she just gets overall just better damage, period, right? So it's, it's worth it for her. Oh, I love this pressure, man. Getting that roundhouse, getting those plus frames, and setting up that grab. All right, we're going to have a little poke spot in here. Going to be in burnout again. We've seen Clem do this again in a burnout fairly early. Let me be a little careful. Overhead. Uh -huh. Def, Def doing an amazing job of yep. all these walls, not getting giving any free grabs out. Yep, and let's see it, yes. <laughs> yeah, Acton, though, I love yeah. the house game, so. Yeah, I, I think people have gotten to a point now where they understand how valuable that, like, mirror can be right there, right? So you you got to have some airtight setups because they will match that super, right? And I think a lot of times now we're getting to a point in the meta where you need to be uh, really threatening and kind of baiting out that super out more than just trying to go for a setup to go into DI because people know the drill. Level two. Uh huh? Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh, you did it? All right. What you got, Clem? Can you close out? Oh, pressure. Ready. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, man. He's had enough of that overhead. I, I, I respect it. I respect it. He definitely needed to bait it out there. I love that he kind of held on to that, too. Um, because, yeah, that standing fierce into OD. Gonna have that gap. Oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. Good damn, Eddie. We're in the corner already. Corner store. Ooh, okay. Now, now, now YJK is really gonna have to think twice about this. Yeah. The slide. Oh, oh man, we are slide. getting coast to coast. We are in the bodega. Okay, we find back. Good stuff. I'm just realizing we haven't seen a single block of come out. He hasn't had the chance to. Mm -hmm. He's been in the one the card, you know. The, oh the whole time. yeah. Uh, uh, good. As I said, he's never getting the Tatsu. And yeah, we're just doing the meaty, and it's time. Yeah, we just need to cash out, absolutely. That good, good. All right, so, watch it, okay. For round, I love that. Jabs in the tar combo, and you're gonna get that full punish counter with the teleport. All right, we're not gonna toss you. Oh, we're going for the mix up. Oh, got what he wanted, but. Not able to reach the standing, but we're going to the overhead and good stuff. At the next interaction here, we get a solid hit. No, we're going to go ahead and OD out. Oh, I think he was trying to, he probably went for trying to go for a different confirm there. Yeah. Yeah, Clint needs to be really careful about his use of grounded uh, light ball. And bait. There it is. Yep. Yes, sir. Good. See you later. Yep. You're In gone. another life. We don't even need to burn the three. Kimberly. I was going to say, Clint needed, Clint needed to find it a different way in because. Jeff was just doing an excellent job of just calling out and checking every each one of those balls. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. You got to check it, man. You can't get that in your face, man. Get that out of here. I, I think one of the big things I really love uh, from Jeff's play, right, is that one of the biggest things in the game is when you start making that airtight pressure or you start doing pressure in a way where, like, maybe it's not true, but the option to counter it is such a huge risk. And then when it comes on where it matters most, just let them hang themselves, right? Because at the end of the day, no one wants to go out and you have that full meter, right? No one wants to go out and get the full drive gauge. So eventually, it's just going to be that itch in the brain, right? And they feel like, you know what? OD Blong Ball, I already know it's pretty they, good. They, they, let they, me just they, try something. Exactly. You Eventually, you got to try something, right? If the only option for you to get out is that, you know, and you put them in a corner, they're going to do it, man. They're going to lash out because no one is go down without fighting. But that ends up being your checkmate, man. And uh, really good stuff there. Right, okay, lot got a really great uh, timing on sense of cadence when he was looking for those OD blank balls and then got himself with a standing fierce into, you know, punish counter. Of course, you're going to get that free teleport into the roundhouse and just started the show from there. So good stuff by him. Yeah. Great stuff to Jeff showing it once again why he's one of the strongest. And you know, I think that also that, that honestly was also just one of the key points. Um, it was just just a, a very extreme version of why the corner is so strong. Yes. Because like you didn't even get to see one of Blanca's biggest strengths of his corner pressure because he was the one stuck there. Yeah. And I gotta ask you, did you see a spray can? What, what is that? A spray can? Uh, there's not, there's not, 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 not one. A single spray can, right? And what I've noticed, right? A lot of uh, Kimberly's have been getting to the point where they're really trying to leverage and better their overall corner game so they don't need to rely on spray can. 
right? So when it matters most, I still have that resource, right? And I, I've been loving that. I, I love that like a lot of them have gotten to a point now where their pressure um, without it is still solid enough to close out games and have enough mix up, right? And I think that's very, very important. Get your frame kill stuff set up, right? Get your like, um, like, yeah, get your frame kill, get your like subs, get the meaty uh, DIs, all those kind of things together, right? Because that's gonna allow you to get some quality pressure and be able to hold on to that vital resource because sometimes Kimblades are just too reliant on the spray can. And then, you know, if you miss those interactions, then you're screwed, right? So I, I love seeing that from Jeff, man. Really, uh, you know, one of the big names out there in terms of Kimberly players making it happen. So it looks like these guys are checking out these buttons. So we're gonna go back. Yep, yep, absolutely. Of course. I think this is the first time I've seen a Rasheed, or I've been able to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, the privilege of commentating a Rasheed match. Yo, the turbulent wind. I love it. Bro, he's fitting, he's fitting into our culture, our culture just fine. He, he he's, he's vlogging and streaming. Oh, of he, course. I mean, he's a modern man. He is the 1%. Why is he streaming? No one knows. He's having a good time. So starting off the jury. Yep. Good block there. I like to wear in a suit because I think a lot of times people in that situation just be like, I feel like I may be able to just smash a, a two more jabs and be okay, but it was really close to call, so I love him just going for a lot. Yeah, and we see that uh, it's auto I think it's uh, it's Autocon. I'll call you Autocon mm -hmm. for now, man. I apologize if it's not what it's called, but uh, Autocon just going for just you know very simple off the bat. Once he sees that Mario was respecting the whirlwind shot, he's yeah. willing to go for the fully charged one. So he gets you know, empowered jump, empowered spinning mixer. Of course. Oh, the walk forward. What up, man? And that's a classic, right? And a lot of times people they get so afraid. They've, they've been going for like kind of like the early game, right? Was you throw a fireball out, you walk forward. Uh, someone just goes ahead and jumps, and then you just go for an easy DP to close it out. But now people are staying on the ground, but now they're getting that true mix on the ground too, right? So it's going to be a hard thing. Nope, no great combos. Oh, stopping that, stopping that whirlwind shot right in its tracks. Yeah. Otacon's got to watch his ankles a little bit here. Oh, over it. Oh, a little bit too far for that one. Some pressure from Mario. Looking really close. Low, so yeah. Yep, yep. Thousand percent, man. Should be dead here. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Man. I think the guts. I don't know if I'm, I'm actually not sure if Otacon could have dedicated more resources there. For that. He's supposed to have like a dive kick of some sort. Of time. Yeah, I thought he was gonna dive. I thought we we're gonna get either like another V and stuff as well. But like, you know, he's just gonna let it rock, man. So, hey, found his mark here. We're gonna be in round three. Well, this game one. All the up the setup here. Oh, not gonna get that that throw. Ooh, the perfect parry. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing else though. All right, level two. All right, what's the pressure here? What you got? Oh, overhead. Ooh, overhead. Uh, uh, got him with the punch counter. Another overhead. Oh, he goes high again. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, that, the mental stack was ridiculous. Yeah. There was just so much, you know, he was just on top of him again and again. Damn. How many pop quizzes can you give me? You know, you, 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 might, you might get the answers right to the first one, the second one, but that third one, mm -hmm. you never know. So it's that third. Might be your demise. Maybe even that fourth, man. All right, going into that game two. All right, going to be starting off here. Again, going for the overhead. The setup, good stuff, easy damage. Gets the mixer. What's the setup here in the corner? Love the meaty. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Let's get a return fire. I've seen that way too many times in that corner. Good stuff there by Mario. Oh, he was ready to catch. He was ready to catch the back jump. Great awareness. And he's ready for the wall jump too. Oh, he gave him those. <laughs> he gave him a taste of his own medicine oh, there. Oh yeah, of course. The button into drive impact? No, no, no. You hold this. Yep. Button in a dream. All right. Damn sure. I love that. Gonna get that low forward. And now we're in the corner. Oh, and he's gonna go with the kick. I love it, man. He's plus three there. Oh, he, he I think he tried to maybe shimmy there. Mm -hmm. Step back and going for the standing heavy punch. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. I love it. Tried to mix up. Yep. Yeah. Going to go in a throw set up. Plus three. Oh. Yeah. My man is blessing his head. My man is the Pope. 
activity. Man. I need him to block his face, please. Stand up. Oh yeah, that heavy. That's another thing. That 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 uh that heavy Arabian Cyclone has quite a big gap in it. True. So you know you need sometimes you can't you can't just let Rashid keep that pressure up for free. You gotta yeah. you gotta okay. you gotta punish him for this it. This offense is godlike, right? This offense is godlike. My man recognized that he was at one and a half drive gauge, and that entire sequence was predicated on that fact, right? He saw he's like, all right, I know you gotta do some parries here because you want to get back your drive gauge, get thrown. Get thrown again. Okay, you get out of what? You break it this time? Cool. Now you have to burn something right here. Oh, you can't do that? Let me run it back again. Oh, you got a block here? All right, too late. You're done. Great layers upon there. layers. Yes, layers upon layers. But right, understood the root of the problem was my man was at one and a half on that drive gauge. He had to do something. So really good stuff there by Mario, making it happen. That's some Street Fighter Six offense. Ah. Oh, just tries to go for the reset there. This is a big yeah. greedy. Yeah, we're going to have to throw. But yeah, it seems like we've seen a couple of scenarios like that from Otacon, right? Where he's really just gone ahead for some of these resets. You know, instead of kind of burning that meter. And got to be careful here, especially kind of the, uh, where he's at right now. He's going to go up a course of one round, but certain point your luck runs out right you don't want to always give your opponent an extra guessing step oh man he's been getting mileage off that though. yeah he's been getting that a lot tonight double overhead oh Again. my god yo di at the e bro my man is a you, you are dead he does not care about you okay perfect parry oh yeah you can't do that uh-huh you're mine don't do it again. Ridiculous! <laughs> Stop, bro. Mario is not happy about. Mario is not happy. Stop you're happy about that. Uh oh. Stop playing you're happy about that, bro. I'm tight. I'm. I'm, I'm not even playing. I'm tight. I would be mad about. Not that. once. Not twice. Not I'm, even three times. Yeah. See, he dropped my man. Dropped his bag too in the back, dude. He. <laughs> I'm glad the camera changed, man. My man is, uh, my man Mario is going through it, man. We talking about the stages of grief? Mm. Couldn't be, me. dang. That's wild. That's wild. He re he really said, yeah. You 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 haven't responded to this. Yeah. He said, I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing it. Damn, man. He said, I, yo, these these walls looking kind of clean. Let me get some graffiti. It's the easy graffiti again and again and again, man. How many DIs does it take to die? I need to know. Oh, this should be a good match. We have a Manon Ooh. and a Marissa. Ooh. Chat, you ready? Y'all ready for it? Some good matches yeah, here, Yeah, man. we have Agent, Triple F, and Whore. Yes, yes, yes. But again, man, I want to shout out to all the people out here. Holding it down in the chat. You know, if you guys got some Twitter and social media, go ahead and shout the Guildhouse stream out, man. We want to make sure to get some more love here. Get some more support. So we can do a lot greater things out here at this venue. A lot of great venue, great staff, great people, great community. And we'd love to see this thing thrive and, and take off so we can do some more and bigger and better things for all y'all at home. And of course, all y'all in person as well. Who you, who you got for this one, man? Ah, uh, it's tough. Uh, honestly, uh, it's it's uh, uh, honestly it's hard. You know what? You know what? Uh, let, 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 let's give it to the Manon. Let, 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 let's see. Let's see what Tor can cook up. Because because agent agent was on stage earlier. He got his dub versus Portix. But you know what? Maybe 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 agent maybe agent needs to take an L here. Who knows? Yeah, let's see it. Round one, man. Already glowing green already. Yeah, so this is a, a very interesting match, man. I feel like obviously in normals, um, I think because like Manon's gonna have those long range normals, right? And stress out, but 
Just so many great tools to deal with those kind of single uh, normals here from uh, Marissa, right? With that three stance, um, Gladius, of course, and then, uh, you know, DI if you need be. So, but right now, man. Well, he's dead. Tor, yeah. Oh, twirl on him. Absolutely. I was playing a bit of, uh, I was playing a tour uh, a bit earlier, and off the bat, he's just very methodical with each, you know, each button, each decision he makes. He's, he's, he's making, the he's making the most of each circumstance. Damn, we Phelpsin right now, man. Yo, Michael Phelps in the building. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Sing to him. Uh-huh. Spin him around. Absolutely. He's going to get a decent amount of his drive gauge back here. Oh my, oh my goodness! Oh my lord! Toss him like a ragdoll. Ragdoll physics. Unreal engine. Problem let? Yes, these tournaments happen on Thursday. Always. Unless there's a specific, a specific change. Alright. Here now. Oh, he's yeah. No, he's okay with it. Oh, yeah. He's okay with being in burnout because he's got the lead and four medals. No, oh, you're cooked. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought you're just gonna grab him for the culture, but I guess not. Don't even have to do it. And man, yo, press some F's in the chat for a Agent F, man. But it's, it's looking rough. It's looking rough right now. Yeah, Tor's just waiting for you know, waiting for Agent to overcommit to something. Yeah, or if he's, you know, playing too fearfully. Not even get a chance to play. Oh, my gosh. The DI comes out on deck. And, and he gets yeah, level three. Room. Great level three here. They should be uh, just about even here in the meter. Absolutely. Yep. Let me see that empty, Very empty, close. empty. Em <laughs> oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my gosh. But it would have, though. Oh, my gosh. Just swat at him. Okay. Going for the low. Oh, but we got the level five. Yeah. Come here. Come here real quick. Yeah, yeah. man. Bro said this is a single player game. I don't know what you read on the box, but that's just not true. That character, man. Yo, Five hit, medals is. Hit him with a Lady Gaga, too. Like, you, you know, come on, man. She's styling. She's styling on him, man. What's up? And she got the. Look, oh, yo, Viva La France. Yo, you got the, got the nails did, too. That's all right, girl. I see you. That's what's up, man. Five, five, five medals is a death sentence, man. Oh, five, yeah. I was saying, man, miss, don't see me in round three, bro. Never want to see that. It's a hard one. Yeah, and, I think, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, you know, let me time anyone who, uh, who just joined us here. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Hope you guys are having a good time here. We're at Guildhouse. Another Street Fighter Six weekly happening out here. You know, where we have some of the, you know, some of the strongest players out here, man, in the U.S. for sure, um, you know, that frequently attend uh, today. And, of course, we got YJK. Um, I saw Julio in attendance as well, too. Not sure how many uh, uh, many of the Titans we have today. I think this one's a uh, fairly light, right? It's a, it's a, it's a letter. It's we a also have, like, Tree Wiz. Yeah, well. Tree Wiz, of course, of course. Uh, you know, definitely a strong up-and-comer out here, too. But uh, yeah, every Thursday at Guildhouse, if you guys are out in the Northern California area, you know we implore you to come through, check out the venue. It's great, beautiful space, 14,000 square feet. You know, you got the major hall here, and then also there is a side there on the 4,000 square feet uh, called the Parlor. Uh, we have a bunch of PCs set up. People go there and play, uh, you know, anything from board games uh, to Valorant testing. Um, I think I saw San Jose State in there, you know, kind of practicing things out and uh, having a good time too, so... Overall, you know, just a wonderful venue, great drinks, you know, some of the, the best and like well priced drinks as well here in uh, San Jose, uh, downtown San Jose. So definitely go ahead and check that out. But very vibrant space, very great community, very great um, owners as well, too. They just love to see the scene thrive. So um, definitely expect more in the future. But yeah, come out, man. Come out and enjoy yourself. And then if you can't, just watching. We appreciate you all. You can sub. Please sub. Can't, it's all good, man. Just be here and vibe with us. You know, spread the love, share the stream, whatever you got to do. But as long as you guys are enjoying yourselves and having a good time, if you're not having a good time, 
let us know, man. Because we we, we want to make sure that we continue progress. Do some good things out here. Of course, you can see on the other side of the stream those guys playing some Super Smash Brother Melee. You know, Melee, one of the iconic games out there. You know, in the, the fighting game genre, regardless of what you have to say. So, this guy's doing the big out there, CS2J. Doing his damn thing, man. He's been coming frequently. I know uh, a couple times, too, he'll just do uh, some do some some sets, too, here and there in Super 6. I know last time before, he actually entered, but uh, last minute pulled out. But, yeah, man, I've seen a lot of guys, a lot of people all over, man, really just trying to dive in Super 6. Just such a breath of fresh air. Um, a lot of, uh, just a great return to form for Capcom, as it were. And, I mean, I think one of the biggest things, too, is just, you know, having roll back echo. I mean, we all talk about day in and day out, but it's just been really good to see. It's like such a better space for people to learn and play and come together, do a thing. But you know what? Today we're gonna have two Tammy Whites, Miss White in the building, coming through. The cat, the killer bee. Dang. We had a, we had a, oh, yeah, okay, cool. This is yeah. Kay and Enza, all right. Yeah. Enza here, Enza here has shown some really good stuff here over the last couple mm -hmm. of guild houses we've had. No, I, I don't expect it to be any different. Yeah. But Pei seems to be the one uh, being the starting off as the aggressor here. Okay. Pressure there. Yeah, he's trying to step back and see if they press the button, but he didn't. All right, this time around, get him in the corner. Pressure's good to like to step back. Love it. The conversion out of that jab. Also important in this game. Oh, got a low. Didn't believe in it, though. Kind of burned that meter, and right now looking kind of... <gasps> the management. Oh, the shimmy. Step back. Gonna find it. Oh, no. We don't complete. But wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Huh? Oh, but he's going to go in and burn out himself, too, right? So now this is the situation. Just going to kind of sit back here, weather the storm. We're going to get the beater before them. Yep, just going to go. Oh, for you stuff there. Good stuff. Man, that jump in. Jeez. Great damage. Yeah, we're getting out of there. We do not want to be in the He wants to of it. Nope, not at all. Here we go. Another throw. Oh, no. no, he gets back on a side switch. I do love seeing that in people, man. When people are willing to kind of step forward a bit and then go for a throw, right? Great for Perry. Should be in a good corner set up. Oh my oh. gosh, I love it. Yes, get kicked. Cammy wins. Very clean stuff there from Enza. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wanted to go for that little bit of the, the, the late dive kick here. Yeah, he said, not today. No dives necessary. We stand on the beach. All right, good corner carry. Set up. Yep, I love it. Frame kill. Get that grab. Oh. Man, <laughs> again. All right, cool. The, the situation that he put he put uh, a yeah. in, he, 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 he's getting a taste of own, his Yo. own medicine now. Yeah, AI learning, baby. Revolving. The yes, cheats. Sir. Can't be stopped. I right, love that dive kick, man. Just get him on the ankles, right? Love to see it. Yeah, both of these guys are also really liking to to walk back after after exerting, you know, so much pressure. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a habit that can't be exploited, you know. I think yeah. uh, I think you know sometimes you, you you know you as the person that is getting walked back on, maybe maybe you check their ankles. Yeah. I mean, it's such a powerful thing in this game, especially if your character has that great low forward, right? Where you can just go ahead and get that cancel, like, dude. Walking back, right? Such a, such a casual thing. Yeah, there, Enza decided that uh, you know what? I've I've had enough of you walking backwards, Pay. Yeah. You 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 better not assume that I'm the mashing. And that's gonna just continue to be so strong. I feel like in this meta, right? With that uh, absence of that proximity block, just kind of walking back there and thinking you're gonna be okay, and you just get caught lacking your feet every time. People are still getting used to it, man. But you know what? Let's get that burn out real quick, man. It looks, it looks like we got that little sunburn here on both sides. But one life gauge is not like the other. All right, get popped. Get popped in the kneecap. Oh, man. Oh, okay. wait, wait a minute. Oh, we're fighting back. We're Third fighting shot. back. All right, what is it? Oh, okay, the dive kick. Oh, are they going to burn? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. 
I like it. Yeah, keep him locked down for a bit. Go for the classic. I'm a walk up and I'll toss you. Yep. Right now here, Enzo on uh, zero super meter. Close to one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yep. There's counter. And yep. Go back. Get to step it. Uh, absolutely. What's the next hit you got here? <gasps> oh, he wanted the side switch throw Drew. after the perfect parry. Yeah, didn't get it. But you know what? We're getting that nice carry across. Oh, I like that. Just walking back in, going for jabs. Let's this stuff here. But you know what? We are burning out. I love this. We're going to burn all that here. I need to reset that drive gauge and take that health while I'm at it. Now we're going to get this pressure. Oh. Oh, I good love. check on the drive rush. Oh, Enzo was so ready for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we know. We've seen that before. I am he you. He knows his character. Absolutely. I am you. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I agree with He's you. He's dead. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, again, the, the walk back is was happening a, a bit too much. Kind of, you know, you, you're kind of showing your cards. You're bleeding. He yeah. knows what you want. Yeah. But good stuff there from Enzo. If it's just keeping the cool, knowing the scenarios, knowing, you know, what what's real, what's fake. Closing it out. Yeah, man, you got to keep those cards on the table, like you said, right? So, um, yeah, I, I love it. And I, it's one of the things, right? So when you, you're playing against someone at the end of the day that plays your character, right? So when you're going to go through that mirror match, you can't, you can't go with that fake stuff. I've seen it. I have to check her on deck. <laughs> you ain't slick. Yeah, you ain't slick. That ain't real gold. Get it together. There is no fifth ace. Yes, of course. <laughs> you got to let them know, man. Got to let them know. But all right, we're going to get into our next match here, it seems. Oh, Tor's back. Yep. Tor's ready this, for This is going to be like, what, winner's round four, possibly? Maybe deeper. Mm. This is winner's quarters. Oh, quarters, my. Yeah. All right. I'm going to guess it's probably, it could be. Hmm. Not Coolio. Hey, what time is it right now? Oh, doesn't matter. I was like, dude, I'm gonna eat, but it's too late now, man. It's just too late. It's too late for me, man. Alright, who's on who's? Do we do we do we know? Can can we get a little birdie to 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 share the, the, the news? On who? Oh no. Of course. Oh no. Of course. Oh, no. What is what I see. Do I see him? In the distance. The distance. Who's who's there? He's who's a, peeking? He's approaching. A new challenger is approaching. I need to see him. He's waiting. Is he coming? Oh wait, I'm up. I'm up. I gotta go. All right. <laughs> Young Hules, man. Oh, Julio oh, in no. the building. Oh no. Been simply awaiting. Oh. All right. Slow but surely. Oh boy. All right, my man came here to collect. He said no one's coming through. Oh, best believe. I, I want I want cash the cash. Ooh. Money. Money, money. Ooh. I've seen you, man, going to that ATM a little bit too often. No security. I know your routes. I see you in the alleyway. Even though I'm part of that 1%, even if I'm playing that JP, <laughs> best believe. You're going to stay poor. You're going to stay poor because it's time to rob. I mean, the 1% is the best robbers in the business, baby. Institutionalized robbery. I love it. Oh, man. Make it happen. What's, what's, what, what's worse than a robber that does it under, under, undercover? Hey, man. One that does it in plain sight. In plain sight. Welcome to White JP. Prime. JP. Stealing, stealing brackets. Yeah, absolutely. Stealing people's happiness. Yep. Stealing people's attention on Twitter. Oh, man. Stealing brackets. Y'all are like falling for the, the, the 1%, the rich man's trick. Yo, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all gotta fight back, man. You can't let Saruman win, bro. Oh no, is is it Jeff or what is it? What's going on here? Jeff walked up and Tor was like, "Nah, it ain't you, man." Oh, he's playing. Oh, he's okay. All right. Oh, oh he said, "You got to go." Wait, it's, it's funny because we're talking about the chats. Like, what are you? What are y'all saying? Man? Like, what? 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 What are they cooking? Man. Okay, so maybe maybe Julio wants to play off stage. Oh, Julio said he don't want to. He don't want to play up here. Yeah, I don't want to give information. Yeah, I told you, man. He wants. To, he said, "I want you to be in the alleyway, alleyway, bro." Dang. 
All right, look, look listen, I'm I'm usually used to robbing people like during the daytime, but like this is a special occasion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you some of my. my come over here. Come here in yeah, the little corner real quick. Come here. Come real quick. Come here. Quick. I just want to talk. I just want to yeah, talk. Just come, just come over. Yeah, take out your wallet while you're at it. Yeah, man. Where's your wallet, chat? Where's your wallet, chat? Where y'all at? Where's it at? They don't know. They don't even know. It's only five dollars for a sub. Yeah, man. It's not that much. Come on. Much. Just you know, just pay pay up. You know, we'll we'll give you that good content. Let's get it. We got YJK versus Chump Slayer. Oh, you don't want to lose my man. <laughs> if I lost to a dude with a name like that, you already know what it is, bro. I know what I am. You know what it is. I'm not just a bum. I'm but, not just a fool. But you're a chump. I'm a chump. You are a chump. And I've been slain. Yep. He said, hey, you know what it is, man. But Jeff, he's no chump. He's no chump. You got to fight back. Yo, survival is as heroic as a tiger is. So, yo, yo, talk to him real quick, man. Let him know. Yo, free Sagat, man. He'll be here. They, they, they all inevitably they will all arrive. Mm -hmm. Capcom's yeah. too smart. They know. They know. They're, they're gonna. They're gonna pull a smash ultimate. Everyone's here. Oh yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I actually would just like more of their original character. I have. Thoroughly impressed about all their uh, original characters. You know, I, I think they they've really knocked it out of the park, man. So I would love for them to kind of continue that. But I def obviously, you want to have some returners and see what they do. But yeah, keep keep on making these OG characters, man. All right, let's get into winter semis. Man, Chump Slayer trying to bless his head. He said, "No, thank you. I've been blessed." <laughs> he doesn't believe. Yep, man. A run up. Okay, going low. Just a little light damage here. Light work, but here we go. God poke. Oh, yeah. And we got the crouching fierce in into the Tatsu. Overhead. Get blessed. Another Tatsu. What's up? Step back. Oh, my gosh. The pressure. The run stops. He's got the run stops, but he won't stop. I know. Absolutely, man. He's down at the ground. They're in the alleyway. Oh, of course they are. Oh, yes. That crouching fierce. You cannot jump in on that button. That that is that is the gun mm -hmm. that, that took away all your cash, all your yep. hard all your hard earned paycheck. Boom! Heard you were working forty hours, man. Dang, it took three seconds, man. Let's see opportunity here for Chump Slayer. <laughs> like Jeff really said, I'm not I'm not that much of a chump. You can't just tick move, tick throw me like yeah, that. Man, he said, get out of here, man. I I need you to earn it. Oh man, got himself standing with uh, standing medium kick. The God Pope, good sweep. Oh, uh -huh. is that a safe? Oh, 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 we're cashing out. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's just gonna, he's just gonna put him down. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I love this, right? Because yeah, this is not gonna kill, but we got all the meter in the world. What up, baby? <laughs> I see you, Houdini. Yeah, <laughs> he just laughs. He's like, come on. He really man. said, I really he's said, like, yeah, you know, Chuck <laughs> pumped a sawed-off yeah, shotgun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, "Come on." Man. What are you doing? We're civilized. Yeah. Now, what are you doing out here? Put that. Put that back. <laughs> back in your pocket, it goes. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. The walk, man. But not gonna get anything from it. But we're okay. oh man, it's a jump. I will give it. I will never get tired of that. It's just, just seeing the side switch or the the not side switch. Yeah. From oh oh. Oh. <laughs> right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and that time you didn't go for the run stop too. It, it's, like, it's crazy because depending on how fast you do a run stop, right, you get that mix up. Oh, we oh. Get, we'll take that for free. And the burnout. Oh, yo, bless me. Thank you. <laughs> you your shot, Bless me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're yes. gonna get blasted. Ooh. Uh -huh. E. Yeah. Oh, oh, the bottom bing bang. Another get kicked. Uh -uh. No special needed, man. Just give me that green. Jeff is the one doing the blessing right now. Uh -huh. He's the one that's truly divine. Dang. Oh, yeah. Wall. Oh, not going to get the wall splat. Very close, we guess. Still in the corner. And we get the throws. What's up? Yep. Oh, goes into overhead. Nope. Get back in the corner. Oh, overhead. All right. Good check. Ooh, I like the check. I like it. And now he's looking. Not, you're not going to burn it, right? You're not going to burn it, right? Uh oh. oh that God, God. Yep. See you later in another live. Oh, the tunes are on, baby. Roll back the cassette. It's over. 
Like the good old days. Mm -hmm. Good stuff there. 2-0 there, YJK. One Semis, more. Yeah, we, one we more. got one more. One more. Uno mas. Let's see if Chump Slayer is able to fight back here. Having a rough time. Good punish counter this sweep. Going to walk up and get a throw. Now we're back in the corner. Goes for standing medium kick. Didn't really want to burn necessarily meter there if he, he needed to. But man, coast to coast. ODDP, good stuff. Chump Slayer said, I don't want to look like a chump. Yeah. I got to get out of here somehow. Oh, he could have had a really good punish there. He did the neutral jump. The Jeff whiffed that crouching heavy punch. Yeah, but I, I need Chump Slayer to make my boy YJK worried right now. Because I think one of the biggest things, yeah, good stuff here. Yeah, and he's going to go to burn. Two. Yeah, level two. Secure the dub. Let's see. Man, just walk up and jab. Fuck him. Oh, in the kneecaps, man. Get, get back on the ground. She will, she will no longer be playing any basketball. Uh-huh. Oh, man, he's just going to run at it. I love the grab and getting the overhead. Good stuff here, Trump Slayer. Ooh. And the setup. Okay, to the DI. Okay, what you got for me, man? What's the mix-up? You safe jump. Here? Okay, I like it. The empty. Ooh. Okay, I like that. The throw. Still got some meter here to step back. He's looking for something. He's like, nah. Is, he's like, the, is he going Is he going to start slaying? Uh-oh. Not. Let's see overhead. All right. One more reaction, and you are about to be in the corner. Speaking of. Oh. Yeah, I tried to bless them. Speaking, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Now we're using can. Yep. You got to hold it. Oh, oh my okay. Gosh. Yes. All right. Wow. Just do it. He's, 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 <laughs> he's getting ready. He's got, he came back to the alleyway. He said, I'm prepared this time. Yep. You're not getting me twice. No, nah, I got the Kevlar on, man. You ain't stealing from me. But we're, we're looking at this game. We're on final round, though. Jump Slayer still needs to get on the board. Well, that's a fast overhead. That was terrifying. Oh, I got hit. oh it's insanely oh, fast, man. Insanely fast. OD. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're going to burn out here. Good call. Right? He was in danger of burnout, rather, right? So he's going to go here. He's going to do a lot of dig damage on Gage, and now he's going to be slightly up. And now he's got some setup here. Man. Yep. Yeah. Love that, man. That slight little delay. Just too much pressure. You felt like you had to do something. You get kicked for all your troubles. Yeah, I, I, I was sensing, I was sensing there was a bit of an adaptation there coming from uh, Chump Slayer. I, I just had a really, you know, a, a really interesting thought that came to me. And for me personally, I think it's going to help me grow a lot as a player. And it should help a lot of people out there too. Is is the skill of being able to play a best of three because people may, may not like it. It's like, Oh, but it's like, we want to play best of five. That's like the most accurate results, but be able to adapt that quickly is a skill in itself. Oh, a thousand percent. Right. And also like, I think a lot of times when you're looking at a best of three versus a best of five, one of the big things is sometimes people are looking like, what are you trying to read? Right. Because the things that you should be looking for in a best of three, I think that are, they're going to be a lot more simplified. Right. And you got to recognize that, right? If you're if you're allocating mental resources to kind of these big complex situations, that's a waste of time, right? Um, I think a lot of it, like, if people are going to hit you with those knowledge checks, right? Because we're trying to run through this, right? We're trying we're not trying to give you time to adapt, right? So you got to recognize people are going to go for those things, and then you kind of break down those simple things. All right, this guy's trying to play a little like this person just generally plays defensive in the situation. I'm going to move from there, right? And, you know, you don't want to hold on and look for all these layers. Because by the time you all do that, that's, that's, that's already done. That's, that's right? done. You don't have time for that. Versus a, a game five, you can take it a bit slower, right? And really trying to hone in on things. Like, this is really how this person plays. Kind of get to the root um, root cause, right, of their desires of how they're playing, right? Their intentions and go from there. But, uh, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. It, it's really, you have to understand there is a difference, right, in terms of what you should be looking at in a best of three versus a best of five. Very, very great tool for people who are trying to maneuver and uh, build themselves up in this game. Now, of course, you know, you gotta make it to the best of five for it to happen, but it's always good to acknowledge that early on so you are you know, putting yourself up for success. But here, now, we have the previous match we're talking about. Julio and going Thor. up for Thor. It's time. This is, this, this, this is gonna be an uphill battle here for yeah. Thor. 
I, I love that Julio initially started with Arcade Rat, trying to do his new name, and everyone's like, nah, too Julio, bro. Kind of rancid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, nah, get, get that out of here. Ooh. Good jump. Yep. Look at that strike throw. Look at that damage. Keep off his feet. The damage, and I need you out of my way. Get out of here. And man, I love that. He didn't even try to set up a spike, man. My man walked forward immediately, got himself a drive rush, and anticipated the early uh, press in. And I think that's one of the true hallmarks of a player, especially someone who plays a character that can zone. I don't want to just say zoner, because I mean, we're talking about, <laughs> we're talking about freaking JP out here, right? He not just a zoner, but yeah, right uh, this side is looking good, man. Right side looking kind of nice, man. That seven win streak. So deep. Can Tor do anything about it? We'll see. Ooh, what you gonna do about the ODM Nisha? Yeah, side switch. And you gotta deal with this pressure. What's up? Don't jump. I'm watching you. The Baron. Hold the setup. Huh? Okay. Uh huh. Oh, gosh. oh my gosh, yes sir. Oh man. Yo, we talking about that set play. Hit him with the Dr. Seuss, baby. What's up? Snap to it. Sorrow man, get grabbed again. Oh, you're just gonna hold that parry? Yeah, stop stop parrying in front of me. That's weird. We are not in France. Get that out of here. I just got that. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just took me, it took me a second. <laughs> like I get the set up here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I got to block all that, man. Dude, the pressure is relentless. This is hard. OD. Oh, man. Thought he had his opening and for that get. Corner carry. And a snap. And. Get baited to now. You gotta deal with the corner. Okay, opportunity here to set something up. Good grab, guys. There's another fly in the building. Oh, the weight there on the OD amnesia. That was the great patience there from Tor. Oh man, we four. Oh, we're racking up medals. Hold up. Ooh, oh, oh, get another one. What did I say? You do not want to see round three. Look at Terrio. Oh, and fly, fly medals. Ooh. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He said that's all good, man. That's all good. Okay. Yo, now he, my man is saying maximum stay away. He really said, yeah, you know what? I'm a zoner. Mm -hmm. You call me a zoner? Yeah, I am a zoner. I'm a zoner right now. You're, you're going to stay up. I'm a zoner. Oh, stop jumping at me. Uh-oh. Yeah, get flipped. The cinematic. No, oh. wait again. Oh, my goodness. Cinematic universe, baby. Hold All right, me. one more. Oh, I know what he wanted. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, wait, no. Dang. Wait, was that best of three? That was... Quarter semis. That was that one is quarters. We just went for oh, okay. I was I got confused because we went from a semis to a quarters match. So I got really confused there for a second. See, I knew what he wanted there at the last second. That was oh, that was almost that was the most amazing. He went he went for the he wanted the empty land into the the command grab, the light yeah. command grab because it has so much range on it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like pretty quickly too. It's like frame ten for mm -hmm. for something of that range. Yeah, but he's like that last second. He's like, wait a minute. Oh. I've seen this book before. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm JP. Yeah. <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Boondocks. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Stop that right now. <laughs> oh, man. The good stuff. If you know, you know. <laughs> what up, chat? What up, baby? Man. Well, someone's going to clip that and make me look foolish. <laughs> Okay, Lauren, let, let them do their thing. We, we're just having a good time out here. Yeah. Well, join yourselves. Julio versus Enza. Yep. Cami right, versus right. Big B. All right, man. I think this is a, I think this is a Cami favor, or, or, or the Cami players uh, tend to look upon this matchup a little more favorably. Mm -hmm. Shall we begin, then? 
You know what the funniest thing is? I was talking to... I think... I, I don't know if I mentioned this last time. No, you know what? Maybe I did. But in case I didn't, the story is Julio. I asked him. He played Yung in Street Fighter 4. Ken in 5. And I was like, what the hell are you playing JP for in 6? And he said, the moment I saw this character, I knew he, I knew he was going to be busted. He's going to surpass even Ken in the long term. He really said he, he he's investing. You did talk about that last time, but you didn't say the reason why he did. You didn't, I don't think you knew the, the reason. And now I know. He, now you know. Julio had the vision. Of course, man. That, that, I mean, that man looks like an investment plan. I, I don't blame him. I mean, you're going to have disjointed normals like that in, in the game like that, and you have all these options. Come on, man. He's playing his own game. But when, you, when, you, when you've got a game plan that's one size fits all, you really can't go wrong. Yeah. At the very least, it's going to be strong in early meta, no matter what, what anyone says. Oh, great jump in. Okay. I love side, it. Switch. side switch. Oh, Ooh, the shimmy. Man. And that was a quick one, too. I like that. Wow, okay. What a turnaround. Yeah, block. Absolutely. All the way to carry. Who cares? Ah, yes. Enzo really said, I'm tired of seeing that nine win streak. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it away now. Yep. I'm taking the reins. Okay. I was going to oh. say, we're, see we're seeing a lot of, you know, there's the we have these Titans, right? But we've got a lot of, you know, a lot of Titan killers out here. Yeah. At the, the recent, uh, I think it was Astral Beatdown, Julio... Julio lost to Rich Honda. Oh, wow. And, you know, maybe maybe, maybe we got another another loss here, potentially Julio. Maybe he, he doesn't want that. Wait, can we talk about that damage there? And get the punish counter on that jump in, dude. Man. I, I don't want to acknowledge the damage. It's too much. It hurts. Dude, that, that damage was not okay. And now, yeah, we're going to go for the burn and a grab. Oh, my. The classic Julio. We love it. <laughs> Pay attention. Pay attention. Wake up. Stop sleeping in class. Bro, he looks like a professor. Oh man, all right. Dive kick. Did you catch in the corner? Yeah, pressure. Oh, oh the love neutral chop. Yes. Okay, walk through. Yep, and we're gonna gain that meter too. I love it. Okay, we're gonna go for the burn. We saw the closeout, but now time to play a very fun game. Are you ready for some DDR right now, man? Here we go. DDR. Round. Song, song one. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to be tough. That's no crazy. Way. No way. I like the idea. You know what's funny, too? Is Julio, yeah. Julio knew because he's like, Julio made that look too good to be true. Right? He like, because you start being like, why? This guy's walking in? He's giving me a chance? If I was across the stage, right? I'm not, I'm not pulling the trigger. But now you're up close? I got him, right? But what if? I have to do it to him. What if? He said, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep that up. Keep that action up. Uh-huh. Dang. Yo, level one. Oh, ah, the air throw. Oh, the perfect parry. Bro. Side switch. It was crazy. He threw them in the middle of the tight kick. Yeah, that was crazy. That was good. <laughs> Man. <laughs> JP said, what's up? <laughs> Kami said, I'm up. I'm, yeah. I'm what's up. It's me. I'm up. I baby. am them. Damn, man. I, I love that, man. We broken up? Nah, man. They broke. I'm up. The classic. Oh, snap to it. That one, two switch. Ooh. Good. The perfect parry. And the throw. Okay. Four. I, I like that. I like because that a lot. You want, know, you want real damage. I mean, like, they're, it, yeah. And, you know, there, Ed's is probably expecting, oh, you know, I'm about to, I'm just going to get pushed away to the corner. But well, he recognizes that and decides, you know what, I'm going to reset you, and you're yeah. going to eat this command grab. Oh. oh. All right, we stepping out ODM Asians. Oh, oh well, we're we droppers. Are, we droppers out here. Okay. Unfortunate. Yep. See you later. Get snapped on, man. That is damn off. I'll perish. Yeah. Man. Saruman, man. Hey, this this was going crazy. What's happening? Oh, no, this, 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 man, this man may be evil, but he, he looks he looks good doing it. Yep. He's doing it. That's oh, disrespectful. 
Listen, just because just because we have the saying respect your elder does not mean disrespect the youth. True. But, but you gotta give her a chance. I right. man. Air throw nation, dude. And look at slowly walk up. Of course we got that damage. Oh, come on. Julio, please. Okay. Play nice. Wait, your knees, bro. Oh, your knees, old man. Relax. Oh, God. Dang, yep. We're feeling it. You see the head shake. You know what time it is. Bro, he's wiggling. He's so oh, he's He is so confident right now. Okay, good damage here. That was from the shim. He's like, nah, I'm walking out. I'm out. Shark tank, baby. Good grab. How many is that now? Like four? Yeah. He does not miss. Oh, man. My man said, I don't care if I'm in burnout, baby. The burnout baron making damage. Oh. Opportunity to hear, though. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to jump. Dang. Yo, we got the escape plan. The smoke bomb. The smoke bomb? Poof. Hibbler's not the only one. Dang. See you next time. Oh, snap to it. Okay. Time for some one player Mario Party. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh he this is this is the setup. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn. How do you beat this minigame? You're not allowed to press Z for practice. Man. This is the real oh. this is the real deal. My man is playing the set play. Just do it. Okay. I like it. You gotta act. Yo, get out of here! I'm done. I'm done. How many times have we seen Five. this? Five. Five. It's the quickest of throws. The air throw was OD. He said, get your... Get him out of here, man. Clean up shop. That's crazy, man. He that was, was on point. That was looking like those tech layoffs, bro. He said, get out of here, man. He said, that's it. I know we're a plus on our revenue, but get the heck out of here, man. Dang. Listen. That's crazy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. He, 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 he wants to funnel uh, that, 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 that good stuff towards him. Oh, yeah. You know, Gary? It's like, ooh. Horse, man. She, 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 she's a threat. Got to neutralize yeah, it. Yeah, get her, get her out of here. Oh, you, you working hard? Hey, you hardly working yeah, you hardly working Yeah, now. you hardly working now. Get out of here. He's trying to get all the bonuses he needs for himself. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give everyone a bonus. Yeah. Everyone is just him. Yeah, dude. everyone being one me. guy, <laughs> one dude. Dang, J. P. Sean Pierre. Yep, yep. No, shout out to, uh, to Julio, man. Exemplary play, man. The consistency on those air throws was ridiculous. Man, those are reactions. I love it, man. I love it. I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna lose it when he fights like Blanca. Or something, and he starts just air throwing the balls. Dude, that'd be dope. That'd be pretty god like. Cause he can. He can. I haven't yeah. seen it like in a in a in a stream, the live set. Mm -hmm. But it happens. I'm gonna lose it. It's possible. It is possible. Like I'm actually going to call the. Co I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I might. Maybe. Maybe it's a possibility because he, he he knows something. Yeah. Like, he he has deep dark secrets. How are you this aware? Dude, he's. He's got the setups, man. His set play has been on point, man. I, I heard him talking about it even like um, uh, last week, and he was just like, "Man, it's like, dude, this uh, this couple of setups here, no one is blocked, no one is ready." He's like, "This works." He's like, "This." He's like, "This is the worst hundred percent of the time." I'm just gonna keep doing it, man. Especially <laughs> some of the level two setups he's got, man. So, he, I, I love it, man. He's been jamming it. Uh, <gasps> Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, we're going to do a quick break. But before we do that break, I need y'all to watch the throne. Don't watch the it. throne. Um, of course, you know, <laughs> Smash Ultimate Invitational featuring the best players in the world. Got MKLeo, Tweak, Spargo, Light, Proto Banam, Akola, Glutony, uh, and many more, man. And I think one of the best things about this, uh, for all you who aren't aware, is that you know, again, best players in the world, right? And you got a lot of the great talent that have uh, done a multitude of events. You know, a lot of them have done Evo when the uh, Smash was at Evo and stuff as well. 
Um, some of them have done other games too, uh, outside of Smash. And uh, it, one of the big things is this event's going to be happening at Guildhouse. It's going to be happening December 8th to 10th. Go ahead and check it out if you have any interest in Smash. But even if you don't, go ahead and support. Big reason being that we are looking to do events this scale, high level invitationals, insane talent, and we want to do that more, and we want to do that in other games. The next game for this, unless there's any immediate change, is going to be Street Fighter VI. Oh, boy. Right? So we want to do Street Fighter VI, get the top talent that we have in-house, and bring out top talent from the U.S., from around the world, that can come through and participate and enjoy and get some quality matches. And, you know... Make sure that we're showing love, putting Guildhouse on the map, man, because we got a lot of great people out here working hard to make sure you guys get a quality stream, to make sure you get some quality matches, and you guys have a damn good time. So, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Uh, even if you're not really interested in Smash, you know, show some love because that, best believe that is something that's going to gonna come through to make sure that we support everyone throughout in Finding Games. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, but don't go anywhere. Actually, you know what? Take a quick break if you want to. Go ahead. Go to the restroom. Get some food. You know, get grubbed down. We're going to be right back with some more Guildhouse Quality Street Fighter 6 action. Stay tuned.
All right. I've returned. And bam, we'll be back later. But right now, we got Losers Quarter. Uh, no, wait. Yes. Losers Quarters. The other Losers Quarters right now is playing off stream. And we've got Enza and Tree Wiz. Oh, my goodness. This, bro, even with some, without some of the Titans, you know? I love using the word. It's so fun. But even without some of our strongest, LPN, Samurai, Rog, we still have some killers out here. We still have some killers out here. But yeah, game one of Losers Quarters. This is still... This is still best of three, by the way. All right, Kami versus Honda. Chill, Honda. You're going to scare a lot of people out there. Yep, this is first of three. Indeed, indeed. Yep, Tree Woods staying pretty disciplined. Keeping his defense tight. Yep. The moment he sees Enza's, you know, backing off attack, he's gonna get that. He's gonna get that little, little bit of a buff in. Oh, the reset. These neutral, these neutral jumps are getting quite some mileage for True is. Oh, this is gonna be some fat damage though. Oh, the headbutt is crazy unsafe. Unblock. One more. He won't die from it. All right, last interaction. Ah, unfortunate. That ends up staying top of him, giving him no room to breathe. Okay, an insult in. Oh my. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And then. Oh! He carved the, the butt slip? Oh my god! Wait, stop, you're hurting him! Oh, he missed it. Oh no. Luckily, it was only one bar, and he's got plenty of health to work with. So even if he gets stunned here, it should be okay. Oh, the neutral jump. Really good awareness there on Tree Wiz's part. Can I get a third? <laughs> Tree Wiz says, hell no. Oh my gosh, the Kara. Oh, this damage is gonna be a lot. Oh, but he's saving his level three, I like it. One more interaction, they're both in burnout right now. That, oh, that means that, oh. That means that headbutt is gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be even, but he Trubus also knows that a critical art will kill him, so he's okay. You know what? I lied. I was gonna say he's gonna not throw out headbutts recklessly, but that was the first I think heavy headbutt I've seen, and that was just fast, so probably caught Ed's off guard. The corner carry gonna do good work here. Oh, he faked him out. He faked him out a bit there. Unfortunately, didn't it wasn't able to commit. Oh my god. The sliding Kara throw terrifies me so much. Get the side switch here. He's gonna keep him there for some tad. The power of a neutral up is playing in. Yeah, what do you do against those headbutts? Oh, he was trying to do the perfect carry, a different speed in one. Now you're dead for it. Oh my goodness, the reactions there for Enza. Great stuff. I don't want none of this nonsense. You're going back where you belong. In the corner. Stay there. Discipline this child. Oh, but he catches the wake up. Oh, the safe jump. Keep him there. What are you gonna do? This is match point. One bad move marks death. 
Oh, the check there. Ah, but you're gonna die for that. And just saying, I'm not letting my bracket and quite left out the late, the late, well, the well timed perfect parry at the very, la eh, 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 you know, last end of it. Oh, you can't do that. Yep, going for that classic, the side switch. Happy for this back jump. Keeping Tree Wiz from just, you know, throwing out headbutt without consider having the second, you know, considering it. Oh my god. The risk. Oh, you don't care. You just don't care. Oh no, you've got. You've got no bar. Are you gonna press the button? Ah, you are. Gonna say that was the only thing he can do. He's gonna steal the round back. It's gonna be one one now. I was gonna say that's something you cannot lose sight of. They've got that Hell Mary, and you know that, you know, if it's their bracket line on the life, you just gotta hold that for a moment. Oh, really good DP there from Enza. Neither of them seem particularly shaken or nervous. You know, even on the stage, even on stream, even though it's losers' quarters, they're playing with good composure and confidence. I love that. Oh, punishing. <laughs> punishing the attempt to whiff punish. Okay, we're in a sun tree with his part. Oh, I. Oh. No. That button is also just surprisingly effective as a anti air as well. Even the non EX versions. Oh, that's a safe jump. Oh, he went for the empty land. Command grab. Alright. This is now set point. Shriwez, you gonna take this or Enza? You gonna take one more? Oh, what the? My guy, what were you aiming for? There's no sun out. Oh, but the perfect parry. Yep, give me that side switch throw. What else could it possibly be? Oh, how about another one? Oh, push him away. Oh, wait. Oh, so they put... Oh, so it is... Wait, it is a best of five? Okay, wait. Hold on. I'm, I'm learning apparently it's a best of five, actually. Ah. Ooh. Still scary, though. Oh, my God. He's so close to death. Oh, please. Not again. Oh, this time. He, yep. Yep. This time, he, he knows that it's, he's ready. All right, so it actually was a best of five. I lied. I, I apologize for misinforming the good people of the chat. Ooh, not big punish there. Maybe a lack of knowledge on the frame data. I'm not sure. Oh, that's gonna be damage. Yep. They're both in burnout here, so. You know, the headbutts, the dive kicks, the spin knuckles. Anything that's already plus and hard enough to punish on block is even going to be even harder. Oh. It's just got to slow down here. Ah. Crack under the pressure. All right. This time, I'm not a liar. Now it's set point. Oh, again. Enza just, just kind of jump at the gun of it. Ooh, jump back jab. Oh, that's a that's a sweep. Where's the punish? I'm constantly checking his ankles. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the attempt at the perfect parry was made. Enza gotta be really careful here. Oh, all right. He's one combo away from death. Yep, I think he's dead here. Yep. Good stuff there to Enza. But also just Tree Wiz showing the power of those hands. He's throwing them. He's tossing them. He knows what's up.
Honda is a scary character. Who knows? He maybe he'll be he'll be even better as time goes on. You never know. We can't predict the meta that has not developed yet. But let's see. I think now we're waiting for the results of Tor versus Chump Slayer in the other side of Losers Quarters. And from there, we'll be able to decide and figure out who will be in win loser semis. But first, I think we might get Julio and YJK. I'm not sure. Alright, so we're getting winners finals first. Alright, side note, there has been a fly up here all night. It's been bugging me. No pun intended. It's been it's been kinda gross. This dude's out he's trying to disrupt my flow, my good vibes. But to no success. Oh man. Two of the greats. Here they are. YJK, AK Jeff. Julio, a.k.a. R.K. Rat, a.k.a. The Menace, The Powerhouse, The 1%, bringing in that JP. I actually don't know. Oh, man. I got to look at the numbers. I need to see what these the, the record between these two is, whether it's both online or offline. Because I know both of these have done extremely well at World Warrior events. And, you know, obviously they've done well for so long in these brackets offline as well. JP versus Kimberly. Oh, you playing, you playing a tune for us? You playing the piano there, Jeff? What you got? All right, here we go. We got game one. Winner's finals. Let's go. Dry bush for dry bush, checking that with a quick tap of the cane. Push away, keeping the spikes, keeping them locked down. But JP's got those super strong buttons for keeping, you know, anyone else's dry rushes or burst mobility shut down as long as possible. Will we attempt with a plus two there for the throw? Finish off with our good old OD slash and dash. The two hit projectile. Oh, that slide is not safe, my guy. Oh no! You might perish here! You will perish here! And it's a perfect. Woo. What a fast first game there from Julio. Overhead. A little bit of damage, but it's nothing compared to the, to the damage that Julio's dishing right back to Jeff. Now, why is you guys gonna have to figure out some other way to get in? Because Julio's been checking each of those, each and every one of those neutral dry rushes. Whether it's been the use of that crouching medium punch or a dry rush of his own. Oh, this is good. Oh! That parry, hanging off for dear life. Oh, he waited for the OD, Abisha. You're so good. Kill him, please. He has defeated the evil. Jeff wants this just as badly as Julio does. Oh, that overhead is fast. Oh, the Nisha are gonna work out this. Oh my god, was that an instant overhead? I don't know anymore. This man terrifies me. Oh, the god button. Yep, the level three to put a Uno reverse on that drive gauge. Redistributing the wealth. And now she's got a damage boost. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, this overhead is doing so much work. Jeff Tames came too. He's fast with it. Oh, look, the two trades there. I feel like Jeff is, you know, a lot more conscious about his own use of uh, neutral drive rush. Now he knows that Hula is extremely ready to check it and instead opting for utilizing runs and run stops with the slides here and there. And also keeping Julio from just reacting with the, the fake out from the dro elbow drop. Keeping his ankles, saying you're a bit, you're, you're, you're elderly now. You gotta, you gotta be careful. Your ankles, your knees. I might be coming for them. Oh, right outside of range. He's dead here. The buttons, the normals, showing her stuff. Let's see if we can take the lead here, Jeff. Oh, the weird punish. Take some damage here, and you're in the corner now. But the OD slide. The quickness. Oh, this time the instant overhead not going to get anything off of that. But he will level three. Hoping to take away most of YJK's, a lot, of, well, a bit of the YJK's bar. So now he can only go for one driver's cancel here. He's going to die for it. So now you're now left in a situation where Julio has no, no super meter. YJK is more than enough of it, but... It's also JP, so like stuff like these meters and such, you know, it's just a cherry on top. What is general game plan? JP can thrive. Here though, Jeff is just gonna, you know, put the odds in his favor. Resources and life, every everything looking good to him. Oh, Julia with the preparation. You got no drive gauge now. You're burnt out now too. Regular Amnesia being a, a great factor here as well, but it also, this kind of sucks because you're going to get chipped away slowly here by JP if you're not careful. Oh, the, the elbow fake outs are not doing much here. I wonder if there's not going to be enough time. There's not. You're dead here. Unfortunate. <gasps> no, he's a dropper. Oh, he, why did you do that? He's going to level one now. Or not. Or just kill you. He's just going to kill you. Oh, the patience there from Jeff. Such good play. When you play against JP, you really want that sound because you want to hear when that stuff's coming from a mile away. You do not want to look like I hear the deer in the headlights. Jeff inching forward, really hoping to not get sl caught slacking by the cane. The sweep doing a lot of favors in him right now, though. Since I believe, I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong once again, that JP has no lows to confirm into a into a, into any other specials or drive cancels. Oh, that overhead, please. These. These wake up supers. They're doing so much psychic damage to me. At set point. Can you do it, Jeff? Can you claim glory? Oh, Julio. Is he gonna be able to run it back? Yeah, he's cool. He's got all the information. But can he use it? Oh, that sleep is doing a lot right now. Oh, but so is this the bomb. Oh, both of them are so prepared. They know each other so, so well. Jeff knows he's got a he's got a game. Well, another round, another game to lose. So I wonder if we'll see a drive impact here anytime soon. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna back up? Oh, he's gonna throw it. One bad move means death. There's no way. Ah, oh, the jump back medium punch. I, I think it's medium punch. I think it's medium punch. But Julio is still alive. He's still in it. Both of them have all their super meter. No, 
think there's a bigger punish. I'm, I'm not sure what the, if there was a bigger punish there. Oh, yep. Yeah, Julio is, is aware that Jeff's been getting a lot of mileage out that sweep, so he's now he's playing right outside of it. But it's hard to play right side of that range where you're in the corner. That slide's gonna do a lot. Oh, the OD Amnesia coming to play again. Alright. Now he's gonna now this is gonna be a tough spot for wide word for Jeff, because now you've got zero drive gauge. Yurik versus JP. Let's play some DDR. Oh, the overhead. <laughs> Please eat this overhead. Let's go to game five. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's very possible that Julio got the download. The game, it's been a game of push and pull, tug of war. Both of them know what buttons and what ranges they're looking to play at. Moving inside, in and out of them. Right, all that options that aren't the usual. Keep them guessing. Set point. Yeah, the slide getting some, you know, a bit of damage here and there, but it's not going to be enough. You're going to eat a lot of damage from this now. Oh, the reset attempt? The command card is going to get a lot here. Yeah, Julio is just doing a great job. Making the most of JP's toolkit at all ranges. <gasps> Overhead. Oh, this sucks. You might be dead. You are. Yeah, OD Amnesia is, uh, is, uh, is, is problematic. It sucks to get hit by it. You gotta be ready for it. But good stuff there to Jeff. He's still got the loser's bracket. I wonder who is in loser's semis. The Tor or Trump Slayer? Is it Manon or is it? Actually, I don't remember. Tree Wiz versus Trump Slayer. All right. We got a Honda and a Cami? Question mark? Was it a Cami earlier? I don't remember anymore. Oh, no. Hmm. It might have been Jury then. Any Tree Wiz fans in the chat? We got a number of decent Hondas here in NorCal. We got Rich Honda, we got Tree Wiz. Who knows? Might be more hiding out there. Reveal yourself. We need more warriors. We need more, more non Ken, non JPs. You know? Play who you love, play who you like, play who vibes with you. Clearly, vibes with Tree Wiz. Y'all love Tree Wiz. Y'all think Tree Wiz got the tree, the tree Riz, the tree Riz God. All right, all right, calm down now, there, Honda. You gotta be this excited. It's only loser semis. All right, once again, best of five. Here we go. Set with the car throw. Good job noticing that Chump Slayer is more than likely to just you know, kind of respect it and stay back a bit. Chump Slayer might not exactly be fearless. 
sticking to you know his fundamentals, slowly working away. A tree was here. Lope Fireball also being a pretty good tool of just you know closing the gap, but also I think Hepa just flies over that stuff. You know? So that jump slayer has to be ready for. It. That tree was great, great idea, great job there on the trade. Space that dive kick so they be safe, so. Something. Oh, the readiness. We got a perfect carry there. And we toss for it. I'll try to go for a reset. Oh, no. Not like this. Alright, I like it. We're gonna be going to, you know, round three. Bro, how are you gonna tell him that when he's got all that red on? Look at him facing the dirt. Looking like Yamcha. Now you're sitting here as Jury with no super meter, and Trimley still has this too. Close to three. Who knows? We could see a very early level three here for some drive gauge and health damage, health, health damage, da damage to health. Oh my goodness! I'm losing sight of my words. Oh, he got grabbed out of his OD headbutt there. Oh, he's ready. Oh, that's gonna. One for the chunk slayer. Good patience on his part. Yeah. He's mix he's mixing in well a lot of his a lot of aggression, but also just methodical play as well. You know? you can't just go all gorilla. I like I like that chump player is also just going for these chumps essentially a reset because he knows that he knows at a certain point you're just gonna he's just gonna yeah, he's just gonna block the sequence. So you might as well try to go for a little more pressure. Or a different kind of pressure, at least. Until Trivia starts catching on. And then Chump Slayer can add on some new layers to punish. Oh. He goes for the gutsy option there. Will he get a safe jump here? Maybe. Oh. He waited. Oh. And he waited again. He knows. He knows he can take that risk because he's got such high, uh, such a great amount of health. Yeah. He also knows that any hit, if he commit, if he can react to that really easily, if, he, if he's got like such low health, as long as he can take away the, the rest of that health, it doesn't matter if it's drive impact. You are just you, you. Drive impact cannot save you from death. It just saves you from taking the hit stun and the damage. Oh, now Chump Slayer is getting a read. He's moving from moving from the fact he's he's get, you know he used the first two matches to gauge all this information, and now he knows you know at certain points Tree Wiz will or will not hit buttons. You know here he stole back his turn there with the ODDP and risky, but the confidence is good too. He knows what's up. Honestly, the just just best JP and Norcal might be Julia right now. Maybe there's other sleepers out there that I don't know about. And we've seen Trivia Wiz block a lot now. Let's see what Chump Slayer will do with that information. Oh, the neutral jump. Alright, that's the mix up. Will we see a drive impact? Oh, he's catching that neutral jump. Yep, you gotta be careful. Oh, he was he was ready for the back jump. Looking like Blanca right now. Oh, and he's out jabbing that. Yeah, he's ready. Good stuff there to Chump Slayer. But hey, Tree Woods is ain't no chump. This man's a legend in his own right. Put some respect on his name. But yeah, Chump Slayer versus YJK now. Let's see how this will go. I wonder how things will proceed. Kimberly and Jury. Is this a rematch? 
I'm blinking out right now. I feel like this is a rematch. I feel like they played earlier in the semis. Yeah, no, it should be. Unless, unless I'm trolling. In that case, I apologize, chat, for trolling. I, I should know better to, than to goof around. Right, yep, no, no, okay, you know what? I was right. Just, I just got I just got a little birdie once, just, you know, just report it in. <laughs> uh, breaking news! It is a rematch from Winter Semis. And you know, Chump Slayer has the momentum of the loser bracket on his side. He's just got a good win. He's back at it. But YJK, Jeff, Jeff was really looking pretty good in that winners finals, despite the loss. You know, he, he's he's ready. He's ready to run it back versus Julio. Yeah, let's see. Cherry versus Kimberly. Characters that are on the surface, you know, kind of, you, 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 you give the, you can give them a you know a similar vibe. Oh, they're rushed down, you know, whatnot. Oh, they got long. They, they you know, they got God Bun, etc. Et but it's also like what month for the game? Give this time to you know give the, give some time for the meta to develop further. People to refine their their combos, their their, their timings. Figure out their option selects. There's so much more for the players to learn. That's sort of space and that dive kick really well to close in the space. Uh, there's a big cutscene. I don't know if he's paying attention to his drive gauge though, because he's yeah, okay, he's willing to burn it all to get out of there, but now he's yeah, he's 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 at, he's at a life deficit. He was at a life deficit and he was at no drive gauge, but he's staying on the offensive. He's just not scared. Level two. Or level one. Level it, yep. Da -da -da. Da -da. Bang! Oh, paint the town! Oh, nice, perfect parry there. No, 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 no combo or true punish afterwards, though. Maybe a straight hit here or there. Oh, the no side switch there. Gotta be careful with those neutral jumps. The idea is good. Jeff's awareness is also on point. And Jump Slayer is looking to close this out quickly. Leaving him at but a tick of life. Yep, punishing that immediate tech attempt with the neutral jump. Oh, the late! Oh, that was such a that felt like I was such a late confirmed two into the dive kick there. That's terrifying. Oh, the empty empty land throw. I think you're dead here, chump. Yep, you might be gone. Sorry, it's not a might. It's a must. It's an absolute factor. Kimberly wins. Seen a lot of those sweeps tonight, and he's getting good damage off him, and he's getting good Oki. Oh, once again, Chump Slayer with the ODDP. He really does not want to be in the situation. Do it again? Nope. He, he learned his last from last time, but now he's getting stuffed, and he's put in the blender. Can he find the off? Oh no, he did it again, and he's gonna get stunned for it. Honestly, that's something that people need to be considered about. Like, sure, you get out of that situation for just a mere second, but how much of your drive gauge are you losing for the long term, or within or the within the, the span of that match? Is it really worth putting taking that risk to get out of there? Yep, there, YJK, knowing that. Got a lot, of, a lot of room to work with. He's not too scared. Oh, the one, two into the level two. The safe jump. Not sure. Oh, he goes low. Oh, the ankles have been checked. And he evicted them. Stepping right outside the range of heavy punch. 
Uh, Chomp has been, showing, has been doing that a little bit too much, a little bit too reliant on that for to regain momentum on his side. And now he's going to be on the verge of burnout here. He's only got one meter to work with, so I wonder if Jeff is going to go for something big. Yep, he's going to go for that driving pack, get that guaranteed stun. Finish up game two. Alright, game three. I think Trump Slayer has had a lot of really good ideas into how he wants to approach pressures. And I and I know and I understand his thought processor when he's using his ODGPs, but I know he also, he also needs to note that YJK is just hyper aware of every bit of spacing, every move that he's making. You know, there's a there's a reason that he's calling out certain moves or certain buttons. He's ready, look at that. Punish counter. Good punish. Ah, there. Now you got no drive gauge. You got the knockdown. Well, how are you going to close the space? Yeah, again, that neutral jump, you've been doing it a lot. He's been ready to spawn to it. Yeah, he, he almost had it, but he couldn't close it out because he had no drive gauge to send his combos. He could only chip at him with a bit at a time there. Alright. Great DP there. Ooh, that's new. I like that new escape option there. Ooh, the double side switch. First from that elbow. And now from that. And now you're going to be on death's door. You're going to be left with one drive gauge. Or close to one. What are you going to do? You're, you're done. Good stuff to Jeff. A good attempt to Trump Slayer as well. One hell of a bracket. And he had a lot of good ideas coming in. And he had a lot of confidence. But, you know, there is such thing as too much of a good thing. And, you know, maybe he, he felt he was feeling himself too much. And that ended up, uh, you know, causing his demise. But, hey, we're here in Grants. He's running it back. Who's going to get it? Jeff or Julio? Julio or Jeff? Who do y'all have, chat? Do y'all have the J? To the P, to the T, to the O, to the P, to the T, to the I, to the E, to the R, the top tier? Or the man that might just take him down? Mr. Jeff. Mr. The man who knows Kimberly. And who runs the show with Kimberly. Y'all, 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 not telling me you're gonna cheer for JP over Kimberly. Come on now. I'll cheer for Julio, but like, I don't know. Maybe it evens out. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Game one of Grand Finals. Finding a good, good timing there. Going for the classic, but tried and true. Now that's the terrifying part. JP's got buttons from all different ranges. So if your fast buttons are way too short, JP's gonna be have JP's gonna have response from some response to them. They keep you in the corner and such. Yep, keep it as simple. Going by doing it right. Dance. Dance for me. Put on a good show. The perfect berry. Ooh. Waiting. Oh, again. The whiff punish twice. Oh, he waited twice. Good stuff there, Jeff. Yep. Take away that drive gauge. Plus, on super gauge, you know, you could def you definitely make a lot of it back sooner than later. Oh, what? Oh, come on. You gotta... Okay, you know what? I got hit by that because that was the last thing I expected. The wake up... A, a wake up command grab. He got some damage there, but... No, Jeff's still taking it. Now he's shown that twice. 
Maybe third time's the charm. Okay, you know what? Stop that right now. Put that back. Uh, that, that needs to get locked up, put in the closet, and away in the vault. That's, that's messed up. That is such a strong punish. I love it. It's been, you know, it's a, just such a simple concept. You get anti aired He throws the fireball. You try. You 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 miss time your parry, or you do it too early. He's gonna drive rush and toss you. That's a perfect right there. That spells pod. Right, Kimberly. This is way too fun. But for who though? Four times he's missed. But don't worry, he'll get it the next time. Yeah, no, you know what? No, he's not gonna get it. When he does, cool. Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm down. I'm down when he gets it. But he, when he, when, until he does, I'm just. I think he's. No, come on. Still, you could. One could argue. It might be a stretch, but one could argue that you know that. That command grab missing so many times is, you know, making Jeff a little comfort thinking, oh, you know what? That command grab's not gonna come out again. He's missing so he's missed so many times, right? Well, who knows? It might be the, the factor to close it out. But yeah, here you see the power of JP's range. Well, that's everywhere. <gasps> he grabbed the driver back. No panic. Just pure just I love it. Oh, the neutral jump. Such a powerful tool. Especially for people that overcommit to their, you know, their dancing normals or dancing special moves. You can get a decent punish on them. Oh, he gets it meaty. Will you, be, will you be dead here? I think you might. He is. Holy moly. Ah. You know, fighting JP here is a bit of upwards battle. It's right now it's 2-0, but Jeff can definitely get the Amflow downloaded. And he could definitely bring this back. Ooh, the run stop. Keeping it simple. Checking them low. Bring them high. Well, Julio is going to say, nope. You got to stay right where you belong. Oh, he's dead here, I think. Oh, I see the level one. Nope. Oh. Nope. Let's see what you got, Julio. One straight hit is death, so you gotta keep it tight. Go reset. Alright, you're not gonna have to worry about Chip Heaven. Oh, he go. Oh, no. You missed! Oh, the sweep. He's getting so many of these tonight. It's so good, though. People have to really be careful of what's nipping them in the ankles. Oh, he almost got a fat combo. I get a perfect here. Oh, he waited for the okay. He waited for the OD amnesia there. Hey, I like the idea, but you know Julio's not gonna show that again. He's not gonna do it twice. He knows better than that. Could have been funny, but also it's smart of him not to deal the card. Especially he's only about. He really wants to take this tournament. Command grab again. Oh no. This is really scary because right here, one straight hit. Yup. I think it's over. Will it kill? No, it, it definitely kills. Come on now. All right. Thus ends another guild house. Congrats again to Julio for taking first. Jeff doing his best to keep it close. We'll see more of these two for many more months, many more weeks, many more months, many more years to come. Wow. 
I never get tired of watching them play. And y'all, thank you for coming out to watch us here, whether it's, you know, online here on Twitch, in person, if you've been here before. And, you know, maybe you couldn't make it tonight, but you'll be here soon. We'd love to have you. But thanks for supporting us through, I mean, just, just being here, you know, at the tournaments, at the, re, you know, all the variety events we have. Yeah. More Street Fighter Six. We hope that you will keep grinding this game. You come out to compete. And you will continue to support your communities. Local, online, offline, wherever it is. And yeah, be sure, as we mentioned earlier, be sure to check out Watch the Throne in December. There'll be more events, too. Okay, we got Red Bull. We got our very own Guildhouse. Lights out. We got Tweak Talks. Y'all ever heard of Tweak Talks? It's a fun little podcast by some of the pros and commentators of the Smash Ultimate community. And we got some of the greatest... Not just throw Smash Ultimate, just throw so much of Smash history. Smash University as well. Look at that. Oh, that band. Oh, that logo. So clean. But yeah, as the name suggests, you need to be out here. You need to, you know, watch. I, this will be open, I believe, to the public for, for spectating. They'll, they'll be competing. They'll be competing for to be the best of the best. But, you know, you can be a part of the experience. You know, December 8th and 10th, right here in downtown San Jose. But yeah. Thank you again, all, one and all, for coming out to listen to me, to Bam, to watch the players. Remember, support your locals. Tell your TOs thank you. Stop getting on Twitter to complain about JP. Play the game. Y'all can do it. Play that game. Put the time and work in. I believe. All right. You know what, Bam? We get, we get some closing words from Bam. We get some closing words from Bam. He, 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 he's out here. He, he's out here. Spreading the good word, and he's doing good work for the people. Sid was just spamming. Listen, listen. Sid was spamming, and this set went by so fast. I have to go back and watch it now, the VOD. Gosh, damn it. I know. I, I mean, I watched. I was watching, but, like, man, uninstalled? That's crazy. What the heck? I don't even have a name anymore. What's going on? Oh, he got, he got it back. Oh, yo, we out. We're making it happen, man. <laughs> so yeah, just you GG, know, just, gentlemen. Y'all, y'all give y'all give thanks to Bam as well. He's putting in so much work to make all of this and much more possible for y'all. Hey, man, I'm trying. I'm just trying to do my part, man. I know Good House does so many things, can be just so many things. So I'm just trying to do my thing, you know, uh, on you know, on the personal side and on the Red Bull side too. Dude, I this is the worst part, right? As a Kimberly main, to literally lose to JP. And my man just says, your uncle encountered more than a little accident in Nashville. Like, nothing more. Oh, I didn't even read that. Yes, oh, bro. God. Like, so every time you lose to JP, it hurts even more as a Kimberly main. Because my man's like, yeah, by the way, I killed your uncle. Hold all of that. Bro, and he, I robbed your wallet. That's he, crazy. He kept it per he make He's making it personal. Not me, bro. Can it be me? You can't let these JPs win. Everyone's sitting around complaining. You're not. A, you need to start acting. All right? If you don't act, the 1% wins every time. Y'all gotta, gotta start a revolution. You gotta, you gotta start the revolution, baby. Be, become right. the movement. Become the movement. I'm tired of these spikes. I'm tired of the snaps. Tired of the portals. Right. I'm tired of the young Saruman coming out here with the fitted. Come on, man. Just chilling on Rodeo Drive. Dude, can't let that happen. To be honest, his, his, win, his windscreen is OD. He's like, yeah, on a whim, you could die. But you know what? It just happens to be not today. That 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 windscreen is OD. I ain't gonna lie. We tired of it. Fight back, Honda. Come on, man. Make it happen. Hey, Rich Honda did it. If you're, if you're watching, you know you you keep you keep track. Look look look. Oh, hey hey, listen. All I'm saying is, a lot of these players are great. Yeah, but <laughs> I love that. Zip. But, but <laughs> every, everyone's human. You can take me from OG, dude. Very tired of it, dude. Oh, Yo, shout out to Snake Eyes, dude. Holy yeah, y'all. I know it's been a bit now, but shout out to Snake Eyes. All right. You know, sometimes you know the character is rough, but you know what? Just be a better player. All right. Uh, do, the snake do, eyes. do the Snake Eyes. You just do it. Be a better player. Be a better player. Just do it. Do better. Just do it. Lab more. Play more. Exactly, man. Exactly. That's all you need. That's it. Y'all didn't know. That's what you need to do. That man is on the grind 24-7. Yes. Yeah. Listen, y'all don't have the right to whine and yap until you put in that work as, as much as all these top players are doing. Absolutely, man. You got to fight hard, man. You got to fight hard and do your thing. And, I mean, I'm going to keep it a, a thousand, man. 
a lot of times people will complain about you know tears and do all that stuff with that yes characters gonna be good but truth of the matter is when when you get to the upper echelon right that's gonna be really the difference maker on those kind of tiers we look at right tiers are based on the highest level of play and i'm not gonna lie to y'all we're all not at the highest level of play so we just gotta keep learning keep grinding keep striving and make things happen but do we have anything else to say man is it time is it time for crime that's some some alleyways you want to go there and pick some, pick some buckets real quick all right we, it looks like we're gonna pick some pockets man so y'all have a good time i'm stealing and we got we about to steal man we play street by six baby we stealing see y'all later peace Thank you.